And good evening and welcome to the Ball Game Blitz TV show produced by Worthy Road Studios on the Jackson Christian Facebook page. I'm Coach Joe Holloway. Along with me tonight is Bill Hamilton, better known as Big Blue. He is going to give you some insights. David will be back next week. He is trying to help Coach Tennessee through hopefully a victory over the University of Alabama for all of you out there. Of course, there's a lot of Alabama fans but we're going to bring you this copyright broadcast between two fine schools. The Jackson Christian Eagles come in at 5-1 and one on the season, 2-1 and one in the region. FACS comes in at 2-4 and four and 1-1, one and one, but don't let that record deceive you. Bill, some quick thoughts right here as we come into this contest. Well, Coach, I think it's very important that we get started off. Uh, you know, I heard you talking to several people. You know, you don't know what to expect because these are not the – the, the old-fashioned uh, rivals that we used to have, you come down uh, I-40 and uh, get off at uh, the Germantown exit, a beautiful small field, uh, beautifully decorated with the Crusader emblem at the uh, middle of the field. Really, I think the thing about it is we've got some real key people, Mosley and Boyd, that uh, really are the key to uh, victories. Uh, they've got to be successful, and we cannot make mistakes, Joe. Mistakes make the other team much better. We've got to play airless ball. Absolutely at that. Let's uh, talk about a few things and remind you now this pregame show is brought to you by Great American Sports. I mean, go by and see that Ben and, and Wesley down there and the rest of their fine staff. What a great place. And, and they are kind enough. They're not only a regular sponsor, they are the pregame sponsor. And we appreciate them doing that. Okay. Here's the deal. You correct me if I'm wrong on anything. We must win out to finish second. A yeah, loss to TCA next week, but we can't look ahead. This is a region game, and the last game of the year, Fayette Academy is a region game. We must win out to finish second. Second has a really good path in the playoffs. The number one team, USJ, is pretty well got, unless they have a major disaster. They pretty well got it locked up. Well, and, and they realize that, uh, you know, Coach. I, I think one of the things that we've got to do, you know, you can always play a game over. That's not what you want to do. Uh, the weather is beautiful tonight. It's a little crisp. Uh, our team, I did see uh, Mr. Witherspoon is not dressed out. Yes. yes. And uh, I, I have not heard what that injury other than he got. He was hurt, but uh, he's a very valuable and going to be a tremendous player as a freshman. I think the thing here tonight, Joe, is to get started, uh, get the ball early, score early, score often. We have the abilities, I think, to really put a lot of points on the board. I think we need to do that tonight. Uh, next week, uh, we call them the neighborhood rivals. Uh, right down the road, you've got uh, a team known as uh, Trinity Christian. Um, they are probably going to lose to USJ, according to all the procrastinators, uh, because uh, USJ's got a very fine football team. But let's worry about this game tonight. Yeah. Let's, let's just, Total focus. Yeah, and I think, Joe, I don't know if it's good to come off of – uh, what I call a fall break. I miss football. I did see a, a very powerful Haywood County team, but, you know, it's hard to come back when you sit around. These are kids, uh, emotions and things. And, and Darby and the other coaches, they've got a job to, to keep their young men focused, particularly when they weren't playing football last week. That's right. Taking the off week, sometimes it's hard. You start a little slow. Uh, the coaching staff of Jackson Christian really tried hard to make some things happen that would – keep us in position to come into this game where we're going to get the kind of quick start like we always do. And if we win the toss, obviously, we're going to take the football. Yeah, and that's been, you know, that's really been our uh, key to success, Joe. And this, uh, you know, I, I watched the Jackson Christian show on Tuesday night, and, and you pretty much said uh, Cam opened uh, – with a beautiful block from Mosley, and it and it allowed Mosley to get open. And, you know, if you can hit him early and hit him often, don't have a fumble. Have maybe an interception that you can peel off. But uh, we look like on paper we've got uh, a much better team physically, but we cannot make mistakes. And, and you're away from your house too, Joe. That's right. It's always fun to play in your house. Tell you what we're going to do. In just a moment we're going to take a time out, but I need to give you some very important information first of all 
This is a copyright broadcast of Worthy Road Studios for 2022. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, editing, or further use of this ball game blitz TV show without the express written consent of Worthy Road Studios is strictly prohibited. Now, our technical advisor, our producer, director, all-around good guy, Gary Lockhart, who's with me on the Hub City Deli Jackson Christian Eagle Show, which is a great one. If you haven't listened to it or watched it, shame on you. You're missing out. All kinds of information flows out of that show. We see some of our fine young men from time to time. Now, are you getting double teamed with Jandas tonight? You got two of them that's going to be working upstairs. We got, got the camera and everything going. And, of course, they do a great job in all ball game blitz. TV shows, games are available to watch in high depth on the Worthy Road Studios YouTube page. We're going to take a time out, and when we come back, we'll discuss more about this game, some scenarios and things that affect three weeks counting tonight to playoffs. Let's take that time out. Gen Z is a generation. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables, but last week I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. Looking for a new and exciting career? At Jackson State Community College, we offer nationally recognized, top-rated programs designed to greenlight your career for success. With courses available in the health sciences, nursing, computer technology, and much more, your next step towards a career starts here at Jackson State. Learn how Jackson State Community College can greenlight your future at greenlightyourfuture.com. King Jewelers is not your typical run-of-the-mill jewelry store. Grover is a certified jeweler with 35 years experience. This isn't just a jewelry store. It's an iconic symbol of love. How far would you go for love? King Jewelers 16B Conrad Drive, Jackson. Jackson area for over 20 years. Carlock Nissan and Carlock Prestige, the name you can count on. Carlock Automotive, Van Drive, Jackson. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Back at Philip Spain Field, the Eagles are here as the visitors tonight, dapperly attired in their white uniforms with the blue pants. And we will be bringing you this region contest, a very important one. Jackson Christian really needs to win out to maintain that second position and there are three hurdles uh, in our way, and they're playing the song. I thought my phone was ringing for a minute. And, Gary, I am missing what you're saying because I don't read lips. Turn yours up. Okay, I got to turn mine up so you all can hear me. And a um, little bit different setup, very nice press box we're in. But let's, let's find out something about the FACS team up close and personal, and Bill Hamilton's going to tell you all about it. Well, the 2021 record was four and seven. They did lose to Jackson Christian in the first round. I happened to be uh, one of the uh, persons that watched FACS last week against Fayette Academy. Fayette Academy put a running clock on them in the uh, second half. Uh, they seem to be a young team. Mitch McDonald is the uh, head coach. He was four and seven last year. This is his second year. Uh, his defense is uh, a 3-5-3. Multiple offense, uh, he's the last playoff appearance was last year. Uh, you know, it is an interesting team. They don't look to be 
real big uh, on the field right now warming up. And it's unique. It's kind of special, the breast cancer awareness. It's got some socks and some arm guards and et cetera. I did talk to some of the officials last week. The, uh, one of the things that the TWSAA is looking at is to be sure that the pads, uh, knee pads, are covering the knees. They've had a number of teams that seem to not understand that rule, but uh, they will give you a warning. And second time out, they'll give you a 15-yard uh, penalty. They're playing on the field name of the Phillips Spain field. He was and has been the most tenured coach, uh, winning this. Uh, he won 141 games, and basically when you look at it in 23 years, uh, it is an, a, a team that uh, has been on our schedule and will continue to be on our schedule. Uh, FACS, they come off of uh, I-40 down the uh, Germantown Road and turn off at Walnut Grove. We've got a nice crowd that has arrived here. Uh, the players are warming up right now. Uh, you know, you've got to anticipate that Jackson Christian is going to try to put a, uh, as many points as they can. And looking at Jackson Christian, I guess I was a little bit surprised. I thought it was a more balanced attack. Uh, rushing yardage, uh, they had uh, Jackson Christian is averaging 228 yards, Coach. Around, around that, those are uh, that we're using last week's charts. Oh, okay. okay. But, I mean, I mean but it still looks before, at it yeah. is, is rushing is a key component. And, and no matter how you look at it, we've had two to one in uh, rushing touchdowns versus uh, in the air, Coach. Absolutely. And, of course, as you well know, our leader in rushing is Cam Boyd Wears, number three. But they have a young man at this school at FACS. And that does stand for First Assembly Christian. But that's a lot of words to, to spit out sometimes, just like sometimes uh, people call us JC because of uh, Jackson Christian's kind of a long name too. They have a young man named Pennington that's a very good running back. And they have a young man that got some state honors and especially region honors, Brian Shields. They're wide out. He wears number one, I believe you told me. Yeah, and, you know, Joe, I was looking at the, the Daily Miffy, and I'll give them credit for some of the statistics that they – put out and it was amazing some of the teams that we have played as the Eagles North Point for an example they're the number three rated in the area of Memphis with 237 yards passing per game so there's a lot of talented uh, kickoff returns North Point had a young man averaging uh, 41 points of return with a minimum of three returns so there's been a lot of talent on the field and we really expect I, I just hope last week we uh, didn't become a little rusty. Uh, I know they were practicing and uh, momentum because we've got this game tonight. Don't want to look ahead, but I will tell you, next Friday night, Blake Butler will lead his TCA lines, but they've got their hands full tonight uh, against uh, their nemesis down the road is USJ. Absolutely. Tell you what we're going to do, we're going to take another time out in a minute, but the pregame is being brought to you by Great American Sports, the replay sponsor is Mitchell's Body Shop. Corner logos are Jackson State Community College, Dynamics Physical Therapy, Jones Chevrolet, Blacksmith Restaurant, and uh, the scoreboard sponsor itself is Thompson & Smith Insurance Agency. We'll tell you about some more of those fine sponsors. We're going to have more pregame talk about this contest. We're really focused on it. There was only one game in West Tennessee, and it was here in Memphis last night. There were several Thursday night games in Middle Tennessee. Of course, we were heavy a couple of weeks ago on Thursday night games. But what we're going to do on the Worthy Road and Jackson Christian Network is take a time out. We'll be back with more after this. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports make sports an addiction. Thompson & Smith, the area's premier independent insurance brokerage, has been serving families and businesses in the region through its founding companies since 1927. With their many insurance company partners, Thompson & Smith provides insurance products for family, home and auto, contractors, retailers, restaurants, manufacturers, medical and dental clinics as well as any other business or organization seeking quality coverage, risk management expertise and customer-focused service. Call them today to discuss your insurance needs. 
This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. I shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. Oh. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. on Carlock Automotive, Van Drive, Jackson. If you work outside or in a facility with no AC, or you're just struggling with this year's heat wave, it can really take a toll on your body and health. At Live Hydration Drip Spa, we can help you recover with our Beat the Heat special for only $59. Call or visit us online today to set your appointment. And we are back here at Phillip Spain Field, and that name sounds familiar. Uh, many of you used to hear his brother, Mark Spain, call in to different radio stations. And we are FACS, I believe this is a 50-year celebration for them. And because of the uh, not having a timesheet on how things are going to happen, here's Bill Hamilton with the starting lineups that their coach was kind enough to send to us. Well, Coach, we basically have got uh, quarterback is Josh Wright. And, uh, Jake Pennington is a starter. Uh, Mr. Moore will be a starter. Shields, Ivy, and Davis. Now, offensive line is Juna. Dush, uh, number 77, Mr. Sheriff, number 56, Kobe Harris, number 60, Jimmy McMorris, number 74, and Skylar Billings, number 55. Uh, defensive starter is Turner, McMorris, Hushin, Rogers, McKay, Wampler, Wright, Morris, Gay, Shields, and Williams. You know, and, and you were talking about it, uh, they've got virtually kind of a young team. They've got uh, a, a good, solid running back, and I'm looking across the way at a number of the fans from Jackson that have driven down to follow these Eagles as they pursue that uh, position that's coveted would be a second-ranked position in their district. Uh, they have only lost one district game, and that was to USJ. Uh, we've got Fayette Academy coming up uh, in a couple of weeks. But right now, everything is looked on uh, uh, with – FACS, and I, I really expect, Joe, uh, uh, these are mature adults. Cam Boyd is a very uh, sophisticated runner. Jalen Mosley, uh, we've got two extremely talented along with a number of players, and according to what I'm looking at, Mr. Lucas Witherspoon, one of the spirit of the ninth grade class, is not dressed out, but uh, he's going to be a great one. We've got a great young team, I think, Joe, and, a, and the future of Jackson Christian Athletics looks very, very good. Well, of course, Carson Holt lost for the season, and Presley Edmondson, who has the distinction of having played for FACS and then came to Jackson Christian, gave us some good time last year, got hurt, and his football career is over, but he's still supporting his Jackson Christian teammates. Now for Jackson Christian, thanks, Coach. Every Friday morning, Coach Darby Palmer sends me an email and uh, obviously things are subject to change, and we're actually going to give you 12 starters. Uh, we won't know till they come. Can we come. play 12? We uh, can't play 12, can we? can't we? if we substitute one in there. One of the starters, it depends on the situation. It's almost a game-time decision whether we start with a tight end or whether we have the extra wide out in there. And we'll tell you about that as we go down the list. Of course, the starting quarterback himself is number 12, Gage Boykin. He's a 6'2 senior, 195, second season as a starter and a team captain. And he's uh, completing over 50% of his passes. We'll um, get the exacts for you a little later. Number three, Cam Boyd, who is also a senior and a fine young man, too. Uh, he is starting at the running back, 5'4", 150. And his third season as a starter, he is a team captain and a member of the 1,200-pound club. And we'll explain that. If you've, if you've been listening to the Hub City Deli Show, you know what that means. Also, at wide receiver, a young man who is getting better every time he walks on the field, and that is Jalen Mosley. And, of course, Jalen will be wearing number 23, and he is uh, six foot 185, sophomore, second season as a starter, started as a freshman. And does a great job. And, of course, Cooper Bank, he wears number 13. He's 5'10". He is a senior. And uh, he's a team captain also. And he's doing a great job this year. And he can run the jet sweep and some of the other things, too. 
Also as a starter is Lance Rowland, number 24, 6'2", 175, a senior, first year as a starter. Uh, he is the older brother of Blake Rowland, and he can also play a little defense too. But uh, his main, uh, he had the great catch up at Columbia Academy, even though that game was considered a no contest. And he had a, another great catch. His catches are usually great ones. Got get the real sticky hands, and he will hold on to it. And of course, Daniel Green, our fine tight end, does such a wonderful job. He's six six, short guy, you know, two twenty. He's actually a very good college prospect. He's a junior, first season as a starter. He can also play linebacker. On the offensive line, Eli Gay, a center. He's just a junior, wears 61, 5'11", 200 pounds at right guard. Ty Smith, 5'11", 225, a junior, first season as a starter. Number 58, Joey Carr, who also doubles on defense, 5'11", 230, a senior, first season as a starter. He is a team captain in the 1,200-pound club. At left guard, Dalton Deloach, the senior, second season as a starter. Uh, if you didn't hear him, go back and look at the Hub City Deli show. He's very articulate. He did a great job that night, as all of our kids have. He was um, all-region honorable mention as an offensive lineman. And rounding that group out is number 74, Aiden Shoulders, six foot, 235. He is a senior, first year as a starter. He is in the 1,000-pound club, and he was honorable mention um, last year also. Aiden Shoulders. That's its specialty people, and we'll get to defensive players when they are on the field. The kicker and punter, of course, is Zach Sisko having a great year this year. Uh, short snapper is Wyatt Jones. And Wyatt also can play H-back and start on defense and do some things like that. And the long snapper and holder, he does both. He's long snapper only on the punts, but it's Austin Kelly who can play wide out. And uh, Austin having a good year, plays baseball. Bill, that's our starters for the Eagles. Yeah, and I think one of the things I do want to salute, he's, I've watched the young man. He is a Jackson, Tennessee fire marshal, yep. Lamar Childress. And, uh, you know, it's neat to see uh, some of the children of uh, people, citizens in Jackson that have been very successful. And I've seen Lamar grow up and seen his parents follow his son. So looking nice. And I do want to say hello to my son and his family in Arizona. I know that Fridays, he said, are made to listen to Coach Holloway and the crew. So I say hello to Stephen, Avi, and David, and their lovely mom, Julie. And some of the great commercials that you want to watch for tonight as we brought in. The commercials are entertaining. We'll get those as we go to the timeout here on the Worthy Road Studios. Hey, this is Chuck Walker with Southeastern Termite and Pest Control. If you live in West Tennessee, you have a need for the services we offer. We treat for all types of pests, including bed bugs, brown recluse spiders, and other hard-to-treat pests. You don't have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to encapsulate a crawl space. Give us a call to hear how to achieve the same thing and save thousands. Southeastern Termite and Pest Control can handle all of your termite and pest control needs, wood fungus and moisture barriers, real estate closing letters, and so much more. Southeastern, 731 660 Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Championship DNA. That's what you find at Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. A full line of new Chevrolets plus West Tennessee's largest used car inventory. State of the art service work and pre approved auto loans online at JonesChevroletHumboldt.com. Shop with a winner. Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. 
At McCoy's Heating and Air, we realize there are more than enough things to worry about on a day-to-day -day basis. With our new 10-year all-inclusive package, your home comfort doesn't have to be one of them. For one low monthly payment, you can purchase a brand new York unit with full maintenance and repair coverage for 10 years with approved credit. No hassle, no stress, just complete coverage for your comfort and convenience. Contact McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com to schedule your free new AC estimate today. This is how we Friday night. How do you Friday night? This is how we Friday night. This is how we Friday night. This is how we Friday night. No matter how you Friday night, you always win at Kaufman. Back at Phillips Spain Field for exciting Jackson Christian football. They are playing the FACS First Assembly Christian Crusaders tonight. And one of the things David usually handles this, I'm going to give Bill Hamilton a chance to handle the coin toss. Remember when Milt Canavan said the dreaded, uh, let's see, he said the credit doing toss, I believe is the way he said I'm it. I'm not going to say he, doing, but I will say that uh, the officials. He got it messed up a little bit. My white hat buddies, uh, Larry Lewis, is at Northside tonight doing the white hat and came through Brownsville to see some uh, good customers. And uh, they've got a battle. Uh, and Haywood County will be playing South Gibson, Joe, and I've seen – uh, both teams, it should be a war in Haywood County, uh, mile marker 56. But speaking of a war, number six is Josh Wright. He's 11th grader, and he will be one of the captains for the First Assembly Christian Crusaders, and they're noted out of Cordova, Tennessee. And his counterpart is going to be a 12th grader, number 22, Jake Pennington. Uh, now coming, I think you would say Cam Boyd would be on the left. And that would be one of the captains uh, with his breast awareness uh, uniform, I would say. Uh, we've got number seven and number 13 and number 72. So I'll get those numbers. I tell you, as you get older, Joe, some of the numbers you can. Boyd is a senior, five foot four. Uh, number seven is Wyatt Jones, also a senior. Uh, number 72 is uh, uh, Dayton Deloach. Dalton DeLoach. Dalton DeLoach, okay. Yeah, that roster's kind of small there. Well, it's, yeah, it's a little bitty. And number 13 is Cooper Banky, a senior. So uh, getting on the field, uh, they'll, they'll allow the corn to go up in the air. So he's saying that they declined it. Uh, FACS has uh, had the opportunity. They declined. So, uh, which is kind of the typical, but I thought Jackson Christian, the white hat, comes over. And he will tell you that Mr. Cam is going to accept it. And he'll be running on the left-hand side of uh, the television screen. Uh, captains and all are shaking hands. So uh, we're about ready for football. It's a beautiful evening, and I appreciate the opportunity to uh, talk about my favorite team, grandkids playing ball. And uh, we go back, and you're talking about the 1,200-pound. I had one grandson I think was a 13 or 1,400-pound and uh, playing here in Memphis, Tennessee now for Rhodes College. You can hear the music in the background that Chicago Bulls, I think, yep. uh, would be uh, warming up, wouldn't they, Coach? And you would say, and now the <laughs> starting lineup. We've already given those a little early. We are waiting the appearance on the field. The Crusaders have already taken their sideline. In just a moment, in about a minute and ten seconds, we can say it's football time in Tennessee and especially in Memphis where the Jackson Christian Eagles have just taken the field. And, of course, they'll be getting the opening kickoff. Bill Hamilton, Coach Joe Holloway, Gary Lockhart producing, directing, and doing a little bit of everything else tonight. Stephanie and Ashley Janda upstairs with cameras, etc., like that. And we're going to bring you exciting Jackson Christian School football from the campus of FACS, Bill. We, we must handle the ball without fumbling and get out to a quick start. It's almost imperative since we've had over a week off to score on our first position. Well, I think we've got to be protective, Joe. We got to be, we, we have to be the bank and take care of the reward. And, uh, you know, I really expect uh, a high-scoring game. I would think that Jackson Christian has the abilities to, to put a 50-point up. I really do. I think we can, and we'll have to see. Uh, uh, we're getting ready to take the ball uh, with the kickoff right to left. And, you know, I've got to compliment. I, I enjoy watching the game if I'm not able to be here. But I hope we can get started with flames burning and uh, we'll ride the uh, eagle 
All the way to victory. And back for the Eagles in the center of the field. He'll set up about the 10, maybe a little deeper, will be Jalen Mosley. Elijah DeMoss to this side. It's usually Jack Collins to the far side. And they're going to try Collins' side, and they try to go over and in front of him. Ball bounces crazy. We've got to get on it. This is the kind of thing, and this is not what you want right here. Joe, this is exactly the, the, what the, I said. The ball has been recovered by FACS. With uh, We had a little hesitancy then, and this happened. So they got it on a fumble recovery. We did not get a chance to pick up because I'm looking through two metal bars part of the time. So the Eagles get no chance at it with only one second actually gone off the clock because of when it's touched. And it'll be FACS ball in our territory at about the 22-yard line. And that's not a good start for Jackson Christian. It's exactly what you didn't want to happen, Coach. And um, – they send J.J. Davis out to the right. Now, you want to locate number one and find out where he is. Of course, your quarterback is Josh Wright with Pennington behind him. They've got two guys stretching the field. And they're going to try Pennington. They pull a guard, and Pennington, is spinning, gets down to the 20 for about a two-yard, maybe three-yard pickup because of where they spotted the football. Well, everybody knew who's going to get the, the ball, but we, you start out now, and, and the sad part about it, Jackson Christian will uh, – allow FACS to get the ball in the second half, opening the second half. That's interesting. I'm wondering if they spotted something in our film that caused them to kick because that was a directional kick and sent there on purpose. Second and eight, the ball is now on the 20-yard line. They'll bring two wide outs to the left. Ball's in the center of the field, one wide out with an H back. Quarterback gets it, just hands off. No, he kept it. He faked me out of it. He's around right in. He's got a first got a down. Holding He's coming Joe. back. Yeah, it's a holding. And and, and he uh, he rolled the back of our defensive player, and you could see it all the way. Josh Wright wears number six, as you can see from the great camera work we have. A little different angles than when we're at home, and every stadium's a little different. This penalty is very important to Jackson Christian. It'll back him up. And let's see. It wasn't from the spot of the foul, though. It was from the line of scrimmage, right? Because I think it, that's correct. If it was at the spot of the foul, it would be deeper than that. But it does bring up second and about 16. Ball placed down close to the 28-yard line. And, again, two wide outs. And they're very wide over here to the bottom of your screen. They fake to Pennington. They throw a short pass, and it hits the ground. But the receiver was open, Bill, and that was number nine who has some speed, Jacoby Moore. Joe, do you think we look a little flat maybe? We look like we did up at Columbia Academy. I mean, that there's just me. no emotion. Yep. And, uh, of course, be watching. I have, I'm going to have to check those numbers and stuff again because we got re received actually three rosters, and their athletic secretary and Coach Davis were – kind enough to help help out. So if we make a mistake, uh, we've tried to correct the rosters and stuff. Brings up third and 16. Looking, looking down the field. There's a receiver. Was open, but I'm going to tell you what, Jack Collins played it perfectly, intercepted the pass, and it is Jackson Christian football now. So we held our position. Joe, we're very fortunate because the pass was pretty accurate. It's just I, I feel that maybe we're not, I don't say ready, but we just don't have any fire in the belly right now. No, it's we're come out a little flat. This happens a lot of times, but we held, Bill. That's what's important. Jack Collins with the great interception. Here come the Eagles straight to the line of scrimmage, and we will see Mosley and Boyd both in the backfield, and they have an H-back. We've got two receivers to the right. It's an end-over type of situation. Here's Mosley going down the left sideline. He's got his first down. He's got the 40. He's the 50, the 30, the 20, the 10. What do we have? Touchdown, Jalen Mosley and Jackson Christian School. Well, 80 yards. That's what you want, Joe. You want to – and I tell you, once he gets an open field, you can wave at him, mail him a letter because you won't be there. Now, that young man is capable of running the thing all the way back to City Hall in Jackson, Tennessee. Too. Well, I think John Ward one time said that uh, one of the running backs of Tennessee ran to the Capitol. He ran to the Mississippi River. And he could do it, too. 10-28 in the quarter. That's what's left. First score, Mosley. 
And Zach Sisko, the fine extra point man, comes on with Austin Kelly to hold for him. Zach's got a very strong leg. This one looks good. The officials say it is good. And Jackson Christian has taken a 7 to nothing lead with 10.28 to go in the first quarter play. Let's take a timeout on the Worthy Road Jackson Christian Network. The most important benefit when you buy from Jones Chevrolet at Three Way? Peace of mind. Jones Chevrolet's warranty forever comes with every qualifying new and pre owned vehicle. Powertrain coverage for as long as you own your vehicle. Find out more at Jones Chevrolet in Three Way. For anyone contemplating pre planning, we can tell you from our experience it's much easier to make funeral plans and record them now than wait until emotions are running at their highest. With pre-planning, you can free your mind and heart from having to make big decisions during a time of grief and instead enjoy the freedom to focus on the memories of a life well lived. Mosley goes 80 yards for the touchdown as we come back to action here. Kicking off will be Zach Sisko from his own 40. Pennington will be back in one of the spots, not the deepest. And I believe that number 19, Ethan Gay, for them will be in another. Let's see, they're going to keep kick away there. We're using directional. It's going to go out of bounds. We'll get a penalty, Bill. Yeah, and I don't know what you were talking about. I think FACS just didn't want to – they knew what Mosley could do. He showed them then. So that's why I think the directional – and I think – but I'm, I'm a little bit uh, concerned. I don't know why we would have had a directional kick on our kickoff. Not sure. Now, they do that sometimes, though. That's strategy by the coaching staff. And they may they tell Zach ahead of time, even sometimes before the game, what they're going to do with those kicks. But it is first and ten for FACS. They are on their own 35-yard lines where they'll operate their second possession with it. And these notice how these two receivers stretch it to the bottom of the screen, which is FACS bench. One running back with an H-back back there with Wright. Wright's going to hand off. No, he uh, kept it himself, and he has done a good job of faking me out. A little gain on that one, Bill. Yeah, they put it in the belly, and uh, it was hard to see it. He had actually well, lost about three yards and came back to the line of scrimmage. Actually, Pennington did wind up. with. He just bounced it over there to the right, and no gain. Wow. Uh, I'm going to have to get my eyeballs on. Don't have my binoculars with me tonight. They did come in valuable at Bethel last Saturday night. Bill and I did a game up there. Second and 10 from the 35. They bring Robert Ivey, who's got speed in 11th grader down here, and he's got the whole side of slant. Uh, could work. Now, Wyatt Jones steps out, and he can take the slant away from Jack Collins with the coverage here. Two receivers to the short side of the field. They give to Bennington again. He's trying to get outside, and he did. He juke step, and he's going to get the first down. And he faked us off, and we did not keep him on our inside shoulder. Bill. He was not contained, Joe. I mean, he just broke it out. He's not a big back, but he's very elusive, and uh, they've got a first down. And 16-yard pickup and a first down for the Crusaders. Their initial first down of the night at 9:21. The ball's on the left hash mark. They'll send two wide outs this time to the right, wide side of the field with the H back. Some people say, well, he's winged. This is the true pistol here. If he's beside him, it's a spread. Long count this time. We didn't jump. They pull those guards kind of like the old counter tray play of the Washington Redskins for about a four-yard pickup. We'll see where they spot it. Now down on the bottom of it, I saw Chilton Smith. Did you see the other two assist tackles? I did not. Well, Chilton got out there and hustled. It is second down and looks, a, well, it's going to be a long six or a short seven. It is probably a short seven. So a three-yard, three-and-a-half-yard pickup. And again, the twin receivers to the right, one receiver to the left, H back is to the right. They give to Pennington, and that's an RPO run pass option. The football's loose on the ground. I believe Wyatt Jones may have it. Wyatt Jones comes up with a big fumble recovery, yep. Bill. Yeah, another turnover. Number seven brings it home and shows Darby. Let's see what Coach Palmer's got up his sleeve this time. We will take the football over. 
in our own territory, but it'll be about the 44, just short of the 44-yard line. TD on the last one, 80 yards by Mosley. Ball closer to the right hash mark. Jackson Christian going left to right on your screen. This time only one back in the backfield. This is the spread, actually. Trips left, and they fake and give to Boyd, and the fake was on the pass play. Nice fake by Gage Borkin, and I'm going to tell you what, as smooth as silk, better than milk, Cam Boyd running for a first down. You know, Joe, his first step is so elusive. If you can hold the line, he's going to get 10, 12, 15. I think he's averaging probably six or seven yards a carry, and that was an excellent run. 16-yard pickup for Boyd on that one. Roland and Banky to the right of the formation along with Mosley, and I think we do. Uh, now, let's see, did we draw them off or did they jump on the hard count? They jumped on the hard count, Bill. Boy, yeah. Bork, Borkin's doing some stuff tonight. He faked the screen a minute ago and get smooth as silk on that one, giving it to Boyd. Well, mistakes FACS is really – Right now, a mistake prone other than our opening uh, allowing the, the uh, kickoff to be recovered. But right now, the Eagles are looking mighty good. And let's see. We pull the guards in front of Boyd. He tries the left side. He's already got the first down and more. He'll have about a 15-yard. Well, it won't be a 15-yard. It'll be about a 10-yard pickup because he already had the, the penalty yardage. Second first down, Bill. Yeah, and I think, Joe, one of the things is we're moving it uh, very quickly, and I think that's what the game plan of uh, uh, Darby is. Here's the looky into Banky. Banky's got the catch. Will he make the goal line? Give him six. I'm faster than the officials. Well, I mean, that's what they – I think Darby came, and we, we want to put the offensive pressure on him, and right now we're being very successful. And we're hitting a team that has improved every week. Coach McDaniel, his staff – does a good job, but we are hitting them quick. Touchdown pass to Banky. And uh, we'll get the official yardage. Zach Sisko on again. And uh, I don't want to jinx him, but he's almost automatic on these extra points. Joe, oh. never say that. Here's the snap. It's down. The kick is up. It looks good. The officials say it is good. Jackson Christian leads 14 to nothing here in the first quarter with 6.56 to go. We'll take a timeout on the Jackson Christian Worthy Road Studios Network. It's time for the fourth annual Lifeline Car Giveaway. And Joe Mahan Ford is proud to donate a car again this year. Give blood with Lifeline between Memorial Day and Labor Day for a chance to win a 2019 Ford EcoSport. Join Lifeline. And Joe Mahan Ford and give blood this summer. Jackson Christian scoring with Blitzkrieg offense, Bill. Yeah, and they're doing what they want to do right now, passing and running, and uh, they have come back from uh, kind of a horrible start, but right now everything's going the Eagles' way, and uh, – I would not be surprised early in the second half we might have a running clock. Ivy back along with Gay for Eli or Ethan Gay. I'm going to say Eli Gay is a football player. He's playing in the NFL. Here's Cisco. This one's got the distance on it. It's going to make the end zone. Kiss it goodbye. Touchback. Bring it to the 20. You called him about directional. That was directional to the river. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That went to the almost hit the Mid-South Coliseum, the, the old roof. Of Gene Bartow's house. Well, I'm glad he didn't quite make the Mississippi River. There's not much water no, in there Bartow, for the ball to Bartow's land. Bartow's roof was pretty, you know, that was yeah. some interesting with, uh, what, Denny Crum in the old Mid-South Coliseum? Absolutely. 74. Now, that senior lineman, I saw his picture outside. McMar, he's a pretty good-sized young man. 13, Ivy comes to this side. 19, Ethan Gay usually goes, but they don't. They actually have Davis out there along with Spain. Your quarterback is Wright, Josh Wright, who really came on at the end of the season. Pennington in the backfield. The wing back is to the left, and they're going to circle and make a little toss to Pennington. And Billy's quicker than he looks. He broke a tackle. And now we've got Elijah DeMoss who's going to push him out of bounds. But uh, great pickup for them. You know, I watched 22 come to the sideline. Uh, very disappointed in the last series. But he is not a big back. But he's very elusive once he gets to the corner, Coach. He is. 
37 yards on that one. And they're waiting for the down markers to be moved. Plus, FACS has not broken out there yet. Again, 17 and 5 go to the far side. That's Davis and Spain. This time more of a pistol-type setup. They're going to give to Pennington trying the right side of the line. And our defense, that time we kept him inside. It'll be a short gain, if any at all, for Pennington. And I see for us getting off of the football, Caleb Newsom, the dog linebacker. And I miss the other young man that hit him. Yeah, and it looks like Pennington's a better running on the outside than inside. Our inside presence kind of fills the lanes. We're a bigger team inside. And I think the speed of Pennington allows him to get open many times. Big Cedric holds that middle down, and they'll send two receivers to the right, one to the left. Wing back to the left of the formation. Watch their guards to see. You can almost tell where the play is going, uh, especially when they pull. They're going straight ahead, and they give to Pennington. Oh, me. Oh, me. It's Crusher. Remember the wrestler Crusher Blackwell? Cedric reminds me of him. Well, Jackie Fargo was pretty good when he used to come to Oma Arena, and that was uh, our Tojo Yamamoto. That was one of the old names of the past. Whatever it was, he was a wall. Loss of a half yard, so it's 10. Uh, third and 10 and a half to go for first down. Crusaders in Jackson Christian territory. The ball knows of it touching the 45. Equidistance between the hash marks. And again, the two receivers to the right, one to the left. They can run the post or the look in. A while ago, they tried uh, just to run a fly pattern. Here's the rush, Caleb, and this one thrown away, which you can do uh, that way and not get caught for intentional grounding. It's going to be fourth and about ten and a half. You know, Joe, we uh, once Pennington had that first down, then uh, we pretty much held him to zero. That's right. Wright is now one for four. Josh Wright, the junior quarterback. Let's see who comes on to punt because we were not provided with their special. Looks like number people. seven would be Joe. Seven is the uh, place kicker and evidently handles all. David Baker, he's a junior. You know who we've got back there? The ever dangerous Jalen Mosley, whose dad was once a fine running back out at Jackson Southside. And I, I would just imagine, asked Milan about him. I would imagine that uh, University of Memphis oh, has somebody we, watching. We'll tell you what, we, Blake Rowland got a good start, put some pressure, but. FACS gets a good roll, and it'll roll out inside of our 10. So we take over, though, after a fine punt. What, a 44-yard 40, punt? If my math, no, it's 34. A little roll. Here come the Eagles, and, Bill, there's a little pep in their step. Yeah, and I think they're ready to see if they can take it to the house with a long, like a 90-yard run right now, Coach. And let's see if we can pick up. We see two receivers to the left of the formation. They're going to send DeMoss in motion, whistles blow. That's timeout, didn't it, Joe? And did they call a timeout? Well, either or got a delay of game. This player didn't come off the field in time. I don't think the officials saw him. They really didn't. I think we are in Memphis, Tennessee. And let's see, Boyd's in the backfield. Elijah DeMoss and we'll huddle up this time. This is the first time we've actually huddled up, Bill. Now, we've looked over and got our signal stuff, but we've been at the line of scrimmage very quick. I see Roland in there. And, of course, with Ty Smith's got his back to us, which he should, his alignment, because he's listening to his quarterback. And we'll bring the tight trips this time. Man in motion, DeMoss. Here's the speed man. He needs one block. He didn't really get that block, but he's still going to get good yardage. And, boy, right on the edge of hitting him late. Right on the edge. That and was pretty close, Coach. Yes, it was. It was razor sharp. It's a first down. It's a 10-yard pickup for Elijah DeMoss, who can play quarterback, running back, wide out, safety. DeMoss, very fine kid. We've had him on the – he's a young man. He's not a kid. He's too old to be a kid. But it is another Jackson Christian first down, their third one of the night. We're going to send Mosley in motion. It's the jet sweep and coming across the 30 down to about the 35-yard line, so a pickup of close to 15, and we keep the first downs going and we keep the football moving. And I think that was Morris on the tackle for them. 
or more actually. No, it's Gavin Morris. I had to double check my numbers. 95 yards already for Mosley, Bill. Yeah, he is uh, that jet sweep. He looks like he has jet shoes on tonight. First and 10 for the Eagles. They fake the jet sweep. You got some counteraction out of Boyd, and he's going to pick up about four and a half. That may be our shortest game. You know, when you have uh, capable and uh, very elusive backs, it makes it a whole lot easier because you can hand them, hand them to the left, hand them to the right, and uh, they're dynamic runners. I'm going to give him five and say it's second and a long five. I'll okay that, Joe. You're I'll, a good man. The auditor said do, it's okay. I'll do business at your bank. Well, good. Come and I'll that? sell you a chair. Here comes Roland and Banky to this side. We've got a wide receiver to the far side, and I'll have to check and see who that is. They've got green like an H-back. Here's Boyd breaking through there, and he has got about 10 quick yards, maybe more than that. Actually, he's got about 11 or 12. Wow. Josh Wright makes the tackle. He plays both ways for them. Bill, our offensive line doing a yeoman's task tonight. Well, they're much bigger, I think, Joe. That really helps. And, and then they're doing a good job in uh, placing their blocks in the proper positions. And uh, I, I expect some more long runs tonight. Banky and Roland to the right. Boyd in the backfield. We pull a guard, pull H back, but it's a pass play down the sideline. It's going to be overthrown, but ever so close, intended for Jalen Mosley. You know, it's a good-looking route, Joe. It was one of those rocket routes that the old Bob Hayes of the Cowboys would run. Just let him run. And, it, and very few people can run with Mosley. Well, you know, uh, Bob Hayes is responsible for the zone defense really being played a lot in uh, pro football. Well, I can remember as a, as a youth, is Rocket Bob would just break open and just throw it up in the end. Mosley, quarterback, we had a, a, a nice throw just a little bit long. Blake Rowland comes to this side. Boyd in the backfield. Now, they've got their linebackers dancing up here. Rowland was in motion. Here's Boyd behind a neat block. Needed one more directional by himself to the blocker. It's going to be about a nine-yard pickup. You know, he's. I'm always amazed at a man of that statue, five foot, five four, running with that just strength. And here he goes again. Good yardage. Great block by the guard. And uh, behind the scenes, I call it tackle, that time by number 40. And for them, that's Wampler. Go oh, back quickly to the line of scrimmage. Fifth first down. The referees are holding up. because, And the timeout is called by FACS. We're going to take a timeout with the Eagles leading 14 to nothing. We realize you have a busy lifestyle. And at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Back at Phillip Spain Field on the campus of FACS. Bill, what has impressed you the most before the uh, Eagles come to the line of screen? Well, I think just the speed, Joe, and the athletic abilities of our running backs. We, you know, you start off the game like we did, and we've pretty much kind of forgotten that, put that on the shelf, and focused ahead right now. Uh, they need, we need to count our players, I think, but I could be wrong. You know, I say we're trips, end over, because we've got a tackle on the outside. DeMoss in the backfield with Gage Boykin. They give to DeMoss. He tries left side. Look at the young man run, and he, uh, he ran like a fine Swiss, Swiss watch. Well, you know, Joe, you talked about the blockers. The blockers are really containing their defensive linemen. They're not even getting a shot. Our backs are through the line five, six, seven yards before they're even touched. Eight-yard pickup, ball on the left, hash mark. It'll be second and two. We bring our trips to the right, the H-back or wing-back is to the right. This is almost an unbalanced type formation. And Gage Boykin keeps it. He's got the first down, breaks a tackle. but Must have holding. That, that is usually a holding call. We didn't need that. Gage was going to get the first down. Yeah, he could almost lean forward and get the first down, Coach. Gage, a very powerful young man, a good, uh, good uh, three-point shooter in basketball. And let's see what the call is. 
Oh, it's a face mask, Bill. That's the other call it can be. And so, Ooh. wow. You don't see many of those in this area of the field normally. It probably happened because Gage is so strong, so the penalty moves the football. And another first down, I've got six first downs for Jackson Christian. And don't forget this game is brought to you by Aloha Pool, Southeastern Termite, and Pest Control. Here come the Eagles to the line of scrimmage. Looks like Banky and Lance rolling. We have to keep he and Blake separated. They both uh, as far as the, so you'll know who they are. Boy can drop him back. Looking, looking. He's got a receiver out there. It looks like the big man, Daniel Green. And it is touchdown, Daniel Green. And wow. You know, that was a soft throw, Joe. I mean, a lot of times you want to see it thrown hard, but he really did an excellent job in ball placement. One for two passing, but that's a touchdown. So here in the first quarter with 127 left, and uh, Cisco comes on for the extra point, and a TD pass right there. And I will have to check that. Yeah, the extra point is good, and I will straighten my stats out with 127. Let's take a timeout with the Eagles leading 21 to nothing. Downtown is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. We are back. That's two for three passing. That's what I had to uh, adjust. Two touchdown passes for Gage Boykin. And uh, Grant hadn't said a word to me, hadn't sent me a text, and didn't pass out when I got it wrong. And... Uh, I uh, appreciate that. I'm just teasing Grant. Grant's a good friend. Cisco to kick off. They've got two speedsters back there, though, deep. Ivy will be one of them, it looks like. Let's see if they've changed a little bit. It's going, going, gone. Home run for Zach Cisco, and that's just a way of saying it went to the end zone, and they will start their offense on the 20-yard line. Joe, that went to Chick Stadium. You remember Chick yeah. Stadium? Yeah, old Tim McCarver. Yeah, and old Gary Carter played there, you know. And uh, best field position for FACS was the fumble they recovered on the opening kickoff. I think the hesitancy's gone out of us. We've been aggressive, Bill. Well, I think, you know, once a mistake was made, and I think the coaches kind of told them, uh, you know, we don't need to be playing like this. And they're, they're focused right now, yeah. Joe. And they send two wide outs to the left of the formation. I'm going to have to check that number five and make sure it's J.J. Davis. They had on one roster, they had their very fine wide out over there. Here's Pennington trying the right side. He bounces it outside. We lose contain again. And he's going to get about 11 or 12 yards. He's a surprising spark plug runner, Joe. He runs low to the ground, but, you know, he carries the ball pretty much himself on that run. Yeah, and he gets us to commit. Bill, and then he gets outside of our contain man, and, and I know people say, gosh, Coach, shut up about the uh, inside shoulder, but you have to force him back into our pursuit. Jack Collins has got individual coverage out here with Robert Ivey. The free safety, or the one high, if you prefer the new terminology, is Elijah DeMoss. It's Pennington again trying to see he got outside of our contain again for a pickup of about four, maybe five yards, depending on the Memphis spot. I think it would be a six-yard spot right now, Joe. Let's see where they put it down. A little over five. It's somewhere. It'd be close that. to six then, wouldn't yeah. it, Coach? Yeah. But it's a good run. Yeah. And this young man has uh, really carried the load himself. Absolutely. He Wright got, comes over here to get uh, something from the quarterback. I Remember, we had to play them twice last year. We got them in the first round of the playoffs. And again, coming to this side is Ivy and probably Spain. And like I said, we're going to have to check on who number five is because I don't think it's who they've got on the roster they gave us. Bennington again, and he'll get, what, two tough yards, maybe three. Yeah, he picked, he'll picked. he pick up two, and it's all been on his it's back right three. now. So uh, third and a – Short two, long one. 
We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. That's now they've got first and ten on the scoreboard. Trust me, it is not first and ten. It is third and about a little over a yard. Ball is on the Jackson Christian side hash marks. That's the right side of the offense's formation. And it looks like we're going to keep it here. Bill, important possession third down. Well, now they're moving the well. The clock has run out. Gary, we'll take a timeout as we get ready for the second quarter. Pub City Deli is honored to sponsor Jackson Christian Athletics. Gourmet chef Peter Thomas invites you in for a totally new experience in craft sandwiches, wraps, and salads. The homemade hoagies are baked fresh. A big favorite is Pete's brisket hoagie with brisket, smoked Texas style. The Hub City Burger is a Jackson favorite. The salads are always fresh and unique. Hub City Deli is open for breakfast as well. Located on Pleasant Plains Extended, just down the road from Jackson Christian. We are back, just about ready to go, Bill, for the start of the second quarter. This time FACS going left to right, and the... Now you cannot let that lineman get up there. There's the pitch, and Pennington's going to get his first down. We got He got outside our contain again for a nice approximately 10-yard pickup. It'll be their fifth first down. What do you think causes our defensive line not to be reactionary in that kind of run, Joe? He's running four or five times, and we haven't really stopped him on any of them. Well, that one belongs to the outside people. They are not getting there and setting the corner and turning him back in. And you have to do that, 51 yards and nine carries. And I'm betting that number five is actually Brian Shields. We'll check it and see two receivers to the right. Pistol formation with the H back to the left against our three man front. And we've got a man through there shooting through there like he came out of a cannon. But number five for us. And wow. The, um, of course, that is Kai Wyatt. You know, I wanted to call, call him uh, by. Uh, call him Josh White. That's Kai White. My apologies, Kai. He did a great job, Bill. Yeah, somebody missed a block, and I tell you what, he just he was there. And again, with the two wide outs, too, and they're tight and almost here to the sideline. Staying with the spread. They're going to fake to Pennington. They're going to shoot one out in the flat, and we're going to get it tackled but it will just get them back to almost the original line of scrimmage. Good coverage. Yeah, Craig made a nice tackle there. Nice contain. Got, what about third and nine now? Third and nine. Ball will be closest to the right hash marks. Wide side of the field to the left. 10-12 and counting. Jackson Christian leading 21 to nothing. Two touchdown passes and an 80-yard Smoking run by Jalen Mosley. Now they send the two wide outs that are like a twin set. So close over to our bench now. Pennington behind right. Right drops. He wants to crank the javelin up. Only man that would have had a chance and it was so far out of bounds would have been our number 22, which is Trent Carrier. You know, Trent kind of earned his reputation last year, Bill, covering kicks turned into a good defensive back. He did, and that a lot of it's reactionary. you got to follow the – you know, I think defensive back is maybe the hardest position, most difficult to play on a high school football team. Yes, it is. Greg Armour and Bill Hamilton will give you stats at halftime, and Greg's stats are the official stats. It's fourth and nine, the ball on the 49-yard line of Jackson Christian. Mosley back deep. And we almost got one. They'll get us – well, they didn't get us, did they? And the ball short bounces back, and and I, to be honest, we I cannot blame their coach. That could have he been called is, running uh, into the kicker. I don't think he's happy, Joe. I well, I don't blame him. Uh, I don't blame him at all for that, Bill. And uh, well, you you got to kind of look and see. I know there's no replay, but uh, he was very. Uh, Opinionated, he wasn't going to pull his flag. Yeah, Mitch McDaniel, uh, he's got a right to be upset. 
He's we, still talking to him, too. You know, he's going to wear his ear out. The ball plugged down now. Let's see, over on our 28. Here's Boykin. They're going to throw the middle screen to Boyd. Boyd is going to run. He's got a bevy of blockers. One man slowed him up enough, and they're not catching oh, him right me. now. Oh, me. He's gone, and Joe. If he can stay in bounds with you, was give him six. Cam Boyd. Is that an 82-yard touchdown? No, it would be a 72-yard touchdown. Wow. That's a pass. No, it would be 82, Joe. Isn't it, it on, on the, the 28. Okay, I see you now. Okay, I was looking backwards. <laughs> He's got some yardage Well, tonight. they're bringing it back, though, so we can take well, that maybe one they, off the board. Uh, uh, what? You know, Joe, I'm not going to say it, but could that very well be a call that favored the call that was missed? I'm just asking. Without, I mean, you don't uh, see it. seeing it again, I, I but it's say. it's ironic. Yeah, still three for four completion, and uh, no, he's waving off the flag. Touchdown! Oh. He waved it off, Joe. Come on, guys, get your act together. Boyd took it 72 yards. And uh, I'll stand behind the officials, but uh, Richard McWhorter, that's well, there's a lot of things wrong. But the coach was on the, the field. The best thing they did was talk about it. And now I would say Coach McDaniels is really unhappy. Well, he was on the field, which you can't do, and then they told him to go in the box. And they're talking. I don't think they're ordering supper either, Joe. No, and they're not discussing Shakespeare either down there. It's a difficult job. I've told Larry Lewis I wouldn't be an official. I've ridden with him since the days of Billy Scribner, Larry Lewis. It's and, just – but you've got yeah. to have consistency, Joe. Yeah, now the other officials finally stepped in, but you don't play ball without the white hat. No, white hat kind of <laughs> control. He sets yeah. the tone. But they were about to let him play. Uh, come on, guys. Mechanics are important, too, because Richard McWhorter emphasizes that. SEC mechanics is what he says. That's right. Cisco on to attempt it. Kelly to hole. Kick is up. It's almost out of here. It's good, and it's 28 to nothing. Jackson Christian with the lead. Let's take a timeout on the Worthy Road Jackson Christian Network. At Nest Realty Jackson, connections and relationships are at the heart of everything we do. We wake up every day with the goal of helping our agents build trust, relationships, and community. Let's connect. Lifestyle Vision, located at Thompson Farms, offers patient-centered, comprehensive eye exams. Select your new look with our latest styles from exclusive brands. Come see us Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, or schedule an appointment anytime online. Lifestyle Vision, where compassion meets commitment. Interesting series of actions. First, it's a touchdown. Then they bring it back. Then they pick up the flag. And uh, Anyway, we scored. That's the bottom line on it. Ivy is one of the deep backs. We'll pick up the other one. It's either 18 or 19. Pennington has been up front, but Cisco's hit the last two into the end zone. Let's see if they go there again. It's heading that way. It could be. It might be. It goes into the end zone. You know, and it's uh, it takes the ball out of the hands of the offensive when you have somebody that can kick that well, and he has really done a good job these last three kicks. And that's a great weapon right there. They'll have it, they being FACS Crusaders. They'll have it first and 10 on their own 20 with 9.19 left in this half. Bill, if you wrote the script, would you change anything? You know, it's been kind of enjoyable, Joe. I was looking in the end zone, kind of like at Jackson Christian's home game. I have my position and my seat, and it looks like a number of their fans are in the end zone, kind of taking the – not enjoying a lot in this uh, middle of the first to the – as we approach halftime, Joe. Wright brings his ball club out. You'll have two receivers to the left side. We're timeout. Able, and looks like there's going to be a timeout call by FACS. They take a timeout. We'll take a timeout with Jackson Creed. Christian leading 28 to nothing. King Jewelers is not your typical run-of-the-mill jewelry store. Grover is a certified jeweler with 35 years experience. This isn't just a jewelry store. It's an iconic symbol of love. How far would you go for love? King Jewelers 16B Conrad Drive, Jackson. And 
we are back. 28 nothing, Bill. Your thoughts? Well, I think it's uh, once the, I say the uh, rust was taken off, it allowed Jackson Christian to get focused. And our big guns, they put them together, and, and we've had some excellent playing and uh, very focused right now, Coach. Absolutely. See Carrier coming over here to play defense on number five, and we don't know if five is Shields or the man listed. Shields was listed on one roster as five. The twin set to the left of the formation. They circle Pennington out here, and we've got uh, – that's good coverage right there. And um, Wyatt Jones, even though he didn't make the tackle, you see him turn the play in number seven. Well, they would say a host of eagles. Yeah. Would it be a flock of eagles? I've never – How about a bevy, a, a flock? A bevy, a flock, just a lot of them. Yeah. And ball back at the line of scrimmage, so it's still second and ten. Three completions for Josh Wright, the junior quarterback. Our quarterback, Gage Boykin, is three for four with some touchdown passes. Three of them to be exact. The twin sets to the right. The little receiver left. They're going to throw a quick screen here, and we got out there good. And why, Jones, you did good. Number seven. J.J. Davis, a ninth grader, Joe. Yep. So that is J.J. Davis. We have not seen Shields tonight wearing number one. Jack Collins got coverage on the far side, carrier over here, but Wyatt Jones, a linebacker, great job. Also in there right now is number seven, East Chilton Smith on this side. Cedric Anderson, the big man, is the nose tackle. He's in the A-gap to the right of the center, and he can generate some power. Here's the snap. They fake. They're going to throw a short pass, hitting one of the young receivers. It'll be a couple of yards gain, but not many, Bill. No, very tough defensive right now. And about, about five yards, but it's going to be fourth and almost two. It'll be a... Short two, but it's a punting situation, and the punter, Baker, David Baker, will come on and punt. Now let's see if we play punt safe here. No, Mosley's going to go back. We have gotten close a couple of times to blocking one, but we did, and I don't know, maybe the official thought the young man was giving an Academy Award performance back there in falling. Here's the snap. Not much rush this time. Low punt. Driving and bouncing. It's going to take FACS bounce. It's going to bounce all the way down to look like right on the 30-yard line. Looks like we're going to be getting a score very quickly from Hardin County. Hasn't come through yet, but, oh, it's 35 to nothing at the end of the first quarter of Hardin County over Liberty. And Hardin County has dropped two touchdown passes. That's not good, Coach. Wow. You know, it wasn't that long ago. Liberty actually played, what, in the state championship, yes, didn't they? Yes, they played for the state championship under Coach Turner. And then he left. But it's first and ten for our Eagles. The ball is on the 30-yard line, we'll call it. Wide side of the field. Now, they're going to bring a linebacker from the outside. But we toss it to our running back. And that's Boyd. He's got a first down. He's got more than uh, a hard hit right there by number 10, Chris Johnson. But that's about a 15-yard pickup for Cam Boyd. And the first down for the Eagles. The dynamic running back just goes, and our offense is on fire right now, Coach. Yep, and Cam's got six carries for 67 yards. That was the way you used to carry it in high school, wasn't it, Joe? Was that a season? I carried my plaster of Paris <laughs> cast on my leg for three years. <laughs> The, uh, we had the great Jimmy Dickey, Dale Spain, Wayne Spain, people like that. Just like uh, you know that Josh Boyd could break the season rushing record. Uh, uh, Adam Reagan, I believe, holds it. I know it's one of the Reagan boys holds the rushing record. You know, we've had a lot of brother combinations that were very, very successful and a lot of good running backs, Joe. And they caught us dead. I tell you what, let's take a short time out. We'll be back on the Jackson Christian Network. Looking for a new and exciting career? 
at Jackson State Community College, we offer nationally recognized, top-rated programs designed to greenlight your career for success. With courses available in the health sciences, nursing, computer technology, and much more, your next step towards a career starts here at Jackson State. Learn how Jackson State Community College can greenlight your future at greenlightyourfuture.com. We're back as DeMoss takes a handoff over the right side. He's got his first down, runs towards the sideline, and that's where he's forced out of bounds at the FACS 32-yard line. So a nice pickup. About 20 yards on that one. DeMoss runs the ball so well, he's smooth just like our other running backs. Another first down for the Eagles. Guards pull, but we were running a pass play, and they didn't go over. They did a good job. That one is complete. But now the question is, did the ground cause the fumble? Was the play blown dead? It was blown dead, Bill, and we're moving the football again. It's first down. Nine of them, to be exact. We run the play quickly to DeMoss. DeMoss breaking tackles, heading. He smells the goal line, and now it takes a – Whole flock, no. Did he spin and get in? The referee says he spun and got in there. 16 yards for Elijah DeMoss for the touchdown. Now, this will maintain a running clock, correct? And Yes, because it's over 30. They changed the rules this year. And 5 if, 56. No, they won't start till the second half, though. Yeah, but if both coaches, they can actually cut it down from 12 to uh, 10 minutes, too. Yes. Okay, 16 yards. Cisco on, a busy young man tonight. Legs going to get tired. Kelly gets it up, a little low snap, but Kelly got it up, and there it goes. I was waiting for it to come back down. The score now is 35 to nothing in favor of Jackson Christian School, and we'll take a timeout here on the Jackson Christian Network. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. After a slow start on just the opening kickoff, Bill, we have played with a vengeance. Yeah, and I think one of the things has been nice play calling on the Jackson Christian side, Darby Palmer. I think they knew what they wanted to do is involve as many of the backs, and in doing so, we've got speed and quarterback. Uh, you know, we've done things right, Joe, and yeah. when you do that, you're going to come together. And other than that opening uh, kickoff, we have played as well as we can play. I have you back, and – that's either 19, Ethan Gay, or back, and this one's going to get by him. It didn't hit the end zone, but it rolled into there, and it'll be another start on the 20. And their last four starts on offense have been on their own 20. Yeah, and, I, you know, you take the offense away from somebody, and that was a, a line drive. It looked like a, the Astros had hit one in the outfield, but uh, excellent kicking. Cisco has just done a phenomenal job. I know his father and – and his grandfather, very, very proud of the young man. Uh, got to be. Of course, David Sisko, councilman, and Shane, who uh, went to Northside. But, you know, he, his brother Will was a great football player. Also at Jackson Christian. They're going to give to Pennington. Uh, I hesitate to look into those double bars. Pennington's going to earn, what, three tough yards. And they were tough, Joe. Yeah. Yeah, Eli Craig, I need to give credit to him. He led the tackler, but, you know, we had four or five uh, people hit him. Yeah, we've been around the ball, Joe, and, and keeping Pennington inside just doesn't give the same opportunities. Yes, you're right. You are absolutely right. Now, Eli Craig, of course, wears number 55. He is just a 10th grade linebacker. And when I say just, that means he's going to be back two more years. Here's the snap to right. He keeps it. Somebody's got him drugged down from behind. He'll fall forward to about the 25. And I couldn't see who that was. We had more people around there than Jimmy Carter has peanuts. Now, 
they say Chilton was in on that tackle. I, yeah, it seemed like the whole defensive line, Joe. Well, yeah, we need to pass out certificates. Maybe give everybody one to either Snookums or the Blacksmith Restaurant, who are fine sponsors of this broadcast. Oh, that food looks good on the TV. Yes, it does. Wide side to the left of their formation where they have the twin set, one receiver. They're passing. It's a quick one. Just barely over Mosley's head. And did he make the first down? I think he did, Bill. He has a nice pass, Joe. Receiver was open near the sideline. Yeah, Ivy caught that one. And he did get the first down. I've got that unofficially as their sixth first down. Greg Armour coming to give you official stats at halftime. He and Bill will work that. Jack Collins playing the wide out on this side. The one high safety is Elijah DeMoss. They got Mosley on the outside, but they're running to the left of the formation. And uh, it's going to get about three, maybe four tough yards, probably three. Jake Pennington carrying the football, and their flag is Looks noted. Like holding. Let's see what the – it is interesting. Personal foul face, face mask, mask is Jackson Christian. Every association, they're supposed to all have the same mechanic statewide, but it's a little different. Sometimes it's very interesting here in Memphis. You're being very cordial. Yes, I am. Just wait. I'll get fired up. Clock is running. Uh, 50, so they may have agreed to go ahead and start running the clock early because that's really a second-half thing. Looks like Ivy going to the left for them. And uh, the twin set is over there. We'll have to be a little tighter formation this time with a tight end. Gil Pennington went through the A-gap, burst for about five. Well, I believe they'll spot him with six. See where they put it down. Right or left-footed spot? Left-footed. They Pulled it back on him. Pennington, a very fine running back. Bill, that's a couple of inches over five yards right there. That's closer. I'm going to give the young man six. Just you can do I'm it. a nice guy. You, you can do that, Joe. Plus Greg's stats are the official ones anyway. 243 to go and counting. It's 35 to nothing. Jackson Christian with the lead. We're here at FACS. Now they're going to bring Davis to this side. And that looks like Ivy with him. Here comes the option play, the pitch to Pennington. Uh, we've got a holding over here if they'll call it, and I don't think they will. Nice pickup. He's close to the first down if he didn't get it, but the uh, wide out blocking over here was holding our defensive back. He held him pretty good while. Yes, he did. It is a first down for the Crusaders. 2-11 to go here in the first half of play. They will get the football to start the second half. And that was a blatant hole, obvious. And I'm not going to tell you the, some untruth or something like that. Power of the formation to the left and the wide side, and they circle Pennington. Now right being flushed out, and he's going to throw it away. And I believe because of where he was, he can throw it away there without a penalty. And there was nobody with a green jersey except for the substitutes and one of the coaches. Six four eleven for Josh Wright. We'll get he has uh, one interception. Very fine play in the end zone that snuffed out their drive. One forty four. Now they've rested the clock. Uh, the clock operation's not making sense either. Receivers that are wide out all to the left. The power is left, hits the A gap on the, and a couple of tough yards, and then we drive him back. Jones, Wyatt Jones, one of them. And I know he was down there and close. One of our other fine linemen, number 75, Kyle Christensen. I think he gave an assist on that one. There was a third player, and I did not pick him up. Third down, Bill, what, six and a half, 
maybe six if we want. Yeah, I think the auditor would say seven yards. Okay. Again, the twin set to the left, but not as far out as they have been. Going to give to Pennington. He bends it. He's going to get the first down. He bend, uh, bent the run to the left side. It was designed to go in the A gap, and he bent it out there. And uh, that, I know coach, coaches will be, Coach Phillips will be real concerned why there wasn't a defensive end or tackle, whatever you want to call them. Another first down. I got him with nine. 71 yards unofficially for Pennington. They give again. He tries and bends it over the B gap. He'll have a couple of tough yards. Eli Craig may have been one of them, and I want to say that Christensen was there. So about two on that one. They circle Pennington. They're going to throw for the end zone, and right now the best shot at it was Craig Carrier. He had good coverage down in that corner, Bill. Ten seconds left in the first half. From the 23 yard line. Ball on the 23 of Jackson Christian. Six for 12 unofficially is what I've got the young man. And he's got a good arm. Bill and Greg will bring you some stats. They'll talk about it. Ten seconds, third and eight, but I don't think they're going for the first down. They almost got to throw a post, a pattern that will take it into the end zone because this is probably the last play of the first half. Three-step drop, looking, looking into the end zone, but it looks like we've got the beat on it, and we had two men over there. Mosley was there, and I don't know whether that was Collins or, well, it was Collins over there. They do have three seconds, six for 13 passing. And it's fourth down. Let's see. Let's see if Baker's going to try a field goal here. Joe, he's he's actually going to try one. Be this will be a 40, 40 yard field goal, won't it? And there is a timeout. Let's take a short timeout here on the Worthy Road Studios Network. We offer live webcasting for families. It kind of came out of when so many warriors were going overseas to war. We have learned to offer families more choices that we want to serve our families well and serve our families better. Three seconds left, FACS to try a field goal. That looks like Eli Craig up, but gingerly walking off the field. A little, little bit of a limp there. We'll double check it because his jersey is, you can't tell whether it's a six or a, or a five there, but it looks like Eli. David Baker on to try, and this will be plus the 10 of the end zone, a 40-yard attempt. This kick is up. He looks like he's got the distance and no good. He had the distance, but not the accuracy. Time runs out, a fine quarter after fumbling the opening kickoff for Jackson Christian. Jackson Christian leads FACS 35 to nothing. We're going to take a timeout, and when uh, you come back, you will hear Bill Hamilton. Hopefully, Greg will be down here with the official stats by then. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports, make sports an addiction. Football looks fun. I bet I would have been great at it. The first football playing deer, they would have made a movie about me and everything. Probably get Kurt Russell to play me. But alas, me and my dreams run right over again. For fast, reliable collision repair, trust the experts at Mitchell's Body Shop. And get back out there.
Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. At McCoy's Heating and Air, we realize there are more than enough things to worry about on a day-to-day basis. With our new 10-year all-inclusive package, your home comfort doesn't have to be one of them. For one low monthly payment, you can purchase a brand new York unit with full maintenance and repair coverage for 10 years with approved credit. No hassle, no stress, just complete coverage for your comfort and convenience. Contact McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com to schedule your free new AC estimate today. At Alive Hydration Drip Spa, we offer top-of-the-line IV nutritional therapy, which has a wide variety of health benefits. From immune system boosters and skin care, fatigue, energy, and even hangover relief, you can be sure we have an IV blend that's right for you. All of our blends are administered by one of our experienced nurses in a spa setting to ensure you leave feeling re-energized and refreshed. Give us a call or visit our website to book your appointment today. We have what it takes to make you feel alive again at Alive Hydration Drip Spa. Championship DNA. That's what you find at Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. A full line of new Chevrolets plus West Tennessee's largest used car inventory. State of the art service work and pre approved auto loans online at JonesChevroletHumboldt.com. Shop with a winner. Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Home furnishings, appliances, bedding, and so much more. Kaufman's at the Bypass and Oil Well Road in Jackson. Furnishings for every room in your home. Custom upholstery options, too. And our fully stocked warehouse helps prevent supply chain delays. Kaufman's, for your life. At Arrington Funeral Directors, we accept all prearranged funerals. So you may have prearranged your funeral in this town, with another funeral home, or even in another state. But we accept all prearranged funerals because we're here to serve families. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Thompson & Smith. The area's premier independent insurance brokerage has been serving families and businesses in the region through its founding companies since 1927. With their many insurance company partners, Thompson & Smith provides insurance products for family, home and auto, contractors, retailers, restaurants, manufacturers, medical and dental clinics as well as any other business or organization seeking quality coverage, risk management expertise and customer-focused service. Call them today to discuss your insurance needs. At Lonnie Kyle Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on the engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Kyle Ford and Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. At Nest Realty Jackson, connections and relationships are at the heart of everything we do. We wake up every day with the goal of helping our agents build trust, relationships, and community. Let's connect. Tired of being seen and not heard? At Lifestyle Vision, we believe in patient-centered, quality eye care for West Tennessee, which is why we are locally owned and operated. Come see us Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, or schedule an appointment anytime online. Lifestyle Vision, where compassion meets commitment. Serving the Jackson area for over 20 years. Carlock Automotive. Van Drive, Jackson. 
Hey, this is Chuck Walker with Southeastern Termite and Pest Control. If you live in West Tennessee, you have a need for the services we offer. We treat for all types of pests, including bed bugs, round recluse spiders, and other hard to treat pests. You don't have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to encapsulate a crawl space. Give us a call to hear how to achieve the same thing and save thousands. Southeastern Termite and Pest Control can handle all of your termite and pest control needs, wood fungus and moisture barriers, real estate closing letters, and so much more. Southeastern, 731 660 1052. Welcome back to Cordova, Tennessee. I'm very fortunate to be joined by, I call him Mr. Statistic. Uh, I heard about, uh, I met Greg many, many years ago with uh, my daughter marrying uh, Dr. Nathan Nash, and Greg's been an instrumental part, and uh, Greg, I just want to salute you for all your hundreds of, uh, Diamond Dave has 3,000 broadcasts, and you probably have 3,000 miles of statistics, don't you? Probably so. All right. This half, what do you think about it uh, opening up? You dropped the, the ball on the opening kickoff. I was a little bit worried. Well, you know, we knew they was probably going to try something like that at first because they did that against USJ. Okay. Give me some statistics uh, uh, touchdown-wise uh, and uh, rushing, passing, et cetera. All right. For Jackson Christian, we had 10 first downs and the pass department. Gage Borkin, five attempts, four completions for 119 yards. Leading receiver, uh, Gage uh, Cam Boyd, with one catch for 71 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Gage also threw for three touchdowns. In the rushing department, we rushed 14 times for 230 yards. Uh, Cam Boyd had seven for 78. Uh, Mosley had two for 95. DeMoss had four for 52. And... Jay had one touchdown, and the Moss had one touchdown rushing. We did not punt, and we had one penalty for 15 yards. All right, for them, they had eight first downs in the passing department. They passed 13 times, completing six for 55 yards and one interception. They rushed the ball 18 times for 75 yards. Their leading rusher is number 22. He had 17 carries for 78 yards. They punted three times for an average of about 30 yards. They had Three penalties for 25 yards. Is this probably this one half the the most in rushing yards that you've ever seen? It has to be pretty much for because we distributed the ball. Yeah, probably this year is. Yeah, I would say the probably the most of this year. All right, we're we're going to have a running clock. It's the, you know yep. uh, in all second half. Okay? All second half. So basically, then next week when you look with Trinity. What kind of game do you anticipate? Uh, you've been doing it uh, a long time, and you know the battles that Trinity's had with Jackson Christian. I mean, I've seen their film. They've got a good team. Right. You know, so it'll be – we'll have to be on our A game and, you know. Does this kind of game help us in next week uh, game? Uh, I think it helped. I mean, you know, we've still got to stay fresh. Right. I mean, you know, and uh, we still have some things we have to work out. And, uh, you know – now, well, a lot of a lot of young players will get to see the field in the second half. I got one question. What's the biggest change that you've seen in the last – how many years have you been doing the statistics? Uh, okay. This is 35 seasons for me. 35 seasons. What's the biggest thing that you've seen, the changes evolve at Jackson Christian? I think the biggest thing is that when we got our turf field. You put, know. put the turf down and made a completely different complex, didn't you? because know, uh, before the turf, I helped with the painting. And we'd be out there on Wednesday nights and Thursday nights, sometimes 10, 11 o'clock, painting us and the coaches. I never had thought of that. So from a maintenance standpoint, it allows you to do other things. That's correct. You're still involved, but not doing the things like painting a field. That's right. Well, I think right now what we're going to do, I'm going to thank Greg, and we're going to take a uh, two-minute timeout. And when we come back, uh, we'll talk a little bit about Jackson Christian and uh, the game next week. Stay tuned. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio. You're welcome. Eating local Enjoy with it. family is what we're about. There's some big Live local, though, eat local, got, relax that local. That penny could get tough though, isn't it? Man, he gets around and he's like, look that big. Look at this. Serving the Jackson area for over 20 years, Carlock Automotive and Drive, Jackson. Uh, 
looking for a new and exciting career? At Jackson State Community College, we offer nationally recognized, top-rated programs designed to greenlight your career for success. With courses available in the health sciences, nursing, computer technology, and much more, your next step towards a career starts here at Jackson State. Learn how Jackson State Community College can greenlight your future at greenlightyourfuture.com. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. He shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. We are back. Greg and Bill did so good. It gave me a chance to uh, get a break. And uh, the uh, I, I got to tell everybody because it, it's not funny, but it is funny. I have a migraine headache and have had one. I forgot to eat today. I was that busy. That, you know, Joe, I will say this, and, and Greg's a family friend, a personal friend, a friend of my son and, and friend of Jackson Christian. You've got to salute somebody that's been a part, an instrumental part, the behind the scenes, and I had forgotten about painting the field. Anybody that has worked with Jackson Christian for 35 years, they're really a soldier of the football team and, and to be saluted with all like a five-star general coach. Well, he's a school and community asset. And you know what? He's a really fine human being. And uh, he has the patience of Job. And those that study the Bible know what I'm talking about. What a great guy. And uh, one of the fine guys there is. Let's tell you about some of the sponsors. Snookums Restaurant and Lifestyle Vision are two of our sponsors, along with Lonnie Cobb Ford, Nest Realty, Bank of Jackson, Arrington Funeral Home Directors, Kaufman's Furniture, Alive Hydration and Spa, Lifeline Blood Services, and, of course, McCoy's Heating and Air, Hub City Deli, where every Tuesday night at 7 to 8, we have the Jackson Christian Eagle Show. It's a great show. Give you a little insight. Now, we'll have high school stuff, but we're going to talk a little bit about the elementary team, which had a fine year this year. And I want to say that not only will their head coach be there, but their two assistants will be there. You know, Joe, yeah, And you just have to be kin to one of those assistants, don't <laughs> yeah, you? Yeah, and I have grandson, Mr. Max Nash, which you had an interview with him uh, at one of the games. It's but one of our home games, and folks, you need to go back and go to the pregame watch Max's interview. This is a fifth grader, and he did a great job. He did, Joe, and I, I just – people don't realize I really enjoy as much as the game, the uh, the show on Tuesday night, because it's kind of up and in – up close – you can learn what really – and it, it is a family. Jackson Christian football is a family, and it's a family that has grown up, and I've been a part of it I don't know how many years now. We'll say 20, 25 years, but it sure is nice to, to, to know that Friday nights and Tuesday nights are Jackson Christian nights. Yes, it is. And, of course, Blacksmith Restaurant, one of our – they are a corner logo sponsor, but better than that, they are a great restaurant to go to and uh, – the PBLT, which is pimento cheese and bacon, lettuce, and tomato. My wife loves that sandwich there. Jackson State Community College Dynamic Physical Therapy, Jones Chevrolet, and Jackson State Community College, along with our great pregame. And they are also the postgame sponsor, Great American Sports. And like I said, some great guys. You and I have worked with Wesley before. And of course, everybody knows Ben Vargason. You know, you go down there, Ben was a great athlete in his own right, and he has coached some too. And uh, Thompson and Smith Insurance, we appreciate Roger Smith, the scoreboard sponsor. Mitchell's Body Shop, always a great supporter of Jackson Christian School. Loja Pool, Southeastern Termite and Pest Control. But better than listen to me call their names out and say some nice stuff. Please go by, tell these people you appreciate them. 
that thank you for bringing you Jackson Christian football. You don't have to pay eleven ninety nine. dollars oh, Actually, it's $13, count the taxes, that the Highway Robbers of the National Federation is charging you for their rinky-dink coverage, and it is pretty rinky-dink sometimes. State tournament, they do a little better, but uh, I have worked for them before, and it's, uh, it's not one of those things. But you've watched Zach Cisco, and I hope you watched what Gary has up for you on the screen. It's Stephanie and Ashley uh, Janda upstairs are doing a, uh, we're doing a wonderful job. We um, getting sometimes signals out of Memphis. The jet pack is working good tonight. And uh, I know somebody texted me and said, where's the replay? Don't worry, it'll be back. It's, uh, we wanted to make sure you got to see this game. Eagles fumbled the opening kickoff, played good defense. And um, Jack Collins, I believe it was, I'll check my notes, intercepted, um, yes, a pass. And uh, stopped that drive. We took it. First play, 80 yards by Mosley. 10-28 still left in the first quarter. And then we came back at the 6th. 656 mark and Cooper Bankey took a touchdown pass from Gage Boykin. Of course, Gage in very good form. Uh, do you remember what the exact stats were on Gage Bill that Greg gave you out? You know, he was giving, he had so many. Doesn't he have a lot of stuff? I mean, I I don't know how he kept up with it, but uh, the the runs, uh, you know, we're approaching. I asked him, and he said, This year, this is probably the best. I asked him the best uh, running half that we had seen, but just yep. the offensive. Uh, uh, Statistics were just very, very powerful, and he talked about uh, looking to the future. Next week's game with uh, Trenton, with uh, Trinity Christian, uh, he said it's going to be a well, war. Well, that's really for second place in the region. Well, and besides that, Joe, it's, and it's, 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 it's important to be second. Well, you go around the corner of Jackson Christian, and you're there. Yeah. Okay. It's yeah. a rival, and you got uh, one of the great coaches. So you have two young minds with uh, Blake Butler and Darby Palmer uh, trying to figure out who's what you can do to, to beat them. This game is pretty much, I say it's, you know, going to say tucked. It's not the Memphis-Houston game of last Saturday night, but on paper I think this game is pretty much going to have the running clock. Uh, I thought we looked good after the opening minute yep. of play. We looked like Jackson Christian was supposed to. And so uh, I don't think we got anybody hurt. There was a couple of people that were shaking up. Mr. Witherspoon, like I say, was not dressed up, but maybe they're holding him back for – uh, a role of next week, but uh, I thought we got everything opened up and, and we're playing the way the Eagles can play, Joe. You are right. To close out that first quarter, uh, Daniel Green caught a touchdown pass with 127 left, and it, at that point in time, it was 21 nothing. Second quarter, we only scored two touchdowns. One was Boyd uh, took one to the house, 72 yards on a middle screen extra point by Zach Sisko, which every one of them have been good tonight. It was 28 nothing, and then DeMoss uh, ran one in from 16 yards. Elijah, who is – he can do so many things. I, I, sometimes I wonder if Elijah doesn't also bring the footballs out to the field, and I'm just joking about that because he can play any position on the field. He could actually line up Bill and be a lineman if he wanted to. Well, I really learned some. Cisco really is a weapon. He's oh, got to be listed weapon. because, uh, you know, with his kicking the way he did after that directional – he pretty much took the ball out of the hands of the kickoff return men, and pretty much they could have gone and uh, had lunch and then come back because you're not going to run it back when it goes in the end zone. Oh, you're not. And, of course, uh, our linemen did a really good job because uh, FACS gives you a lot of looks. Their base, as Bill told you, is a 3-3, but uh, they will bring everybody on occasion but the kitchen sink in there. Now, one of the facts that you need to remember sometime we ever ask a trivia question is that our head coach, Darby Palmer, graduated from Valley View High School in Arkansas. Back Played in for Hardy. Seven. Yes, sure. they play. but the high school is going to be the catch trivia question one day. Is it he, a new car you all are giving away? No, it might be one of those little models. Snookum, cars. Snookum State Dinner or something? Uh, well, we don't know yet. We just one oh, day. You're, you're throwing it out. Though. Yeah, I'm. I'm uh, well, I want, I want it, people I can, to think. Can I be a? a no, am, you don't I count now. Have? You just took yourself out tonight. Wow. Oh, and uh, Jackson Christian will kick off to start the third quarter. We will be playing under a. Running clock as long as it stays over a 30-point difference. And I see Ivy back for FACS. Will Ivy, does he want to field it? It is going to come down a little short on the three. He's going to make a middle return across the 20. And that's about as far as it's going to go. I see Blake rolling. I see Lance rolling. And one more. Let's get the young man who's getting up off the bottom of the pile. 
And I think we've got him blocked. Oh, that's Eli Craig back out there. So he is ready. So three men got him and stopped him. And that is, since that fumble recovery, the best field position. About the 24-yard line is where you say he got to. Well, they did have one start of a drive at the 35 because of the penalty. I'd forgotten about the penalty on the kickoff. Clock running, and here comes ECS to the line of scrimmage. Of course, their quarterback is number six, Josh Wright. They are strong to the left of the formation. And we will mention, oh, Pennington has broken one, and he has gotten good yardage down to Jackson Christian territory, and he looked like he was shot out of a cannon. Evidently, that is the adjustment made. That one goes from the 24 down to about our 39-yard line. What gives him that ability, Joe? Now, he's got quickness. He, he's he's really not big, good. though. He doesn't have to be big. He's just got to run quick and hard, and he does do that. And he probably went over 100 yards just then. Two receivers to the right. There's a tight end to the left of this formation, H-back. And they're going to give Pennington again. And see, he's good at bending it, but we played it well that time. Daniel Green in at linebacker. And, you know, he's a very good tight end, but being a junior, get some reps in the spring, he's a college prospect at a linebacker spot. He's 6'6". Six, six. Remember Ted Hendricks, Mad Stork? Yes, sir. University of Miami. Yeah, played in the NFL with the Raiders and the Packers. That's a long time ago, Coach. It was. Davis to the right, Ivy to the left. Got a wing back and a tight end this time. Pennington's going to get it. He took a delay step, cut left. He's going to get good yardage off the left side of their line. It looks like he's got another first down. We'll see. Yeah, Mosley with the tackle, but with your secondary people shouldn't be making it's going to be a little short. But he's a personal wrecking ball, Coach. Yes, so I told you. Well, they do. Now they give him the first down. So we'll have to change it, give him one more yard. He has 120 yards of unofficial offense. First and 10 for FACS, who's threatening, and they've just taken it and crammed it down our throat. The ball is on the Jackson Christian 29. Wide side of the field to the left. Right gets the snap. Here's Pennington again trying the right side. And again, good body lean, breaks a couple of tackles, and we're trying to hand an arm tackle him, and that isn't going to work. That kid's strong. Jake Pennington, remember that name. He gets about eight and a half. And he's up to 128 yards and 18 carries unofficially. Second and two. Ivy to the left. Davis, if that is really Davis, and I, they tell me now it is. One back in the backfield, Pennington. Got a wing back left or H back. And he, they come right, and he gets with the body lean. He's going to take us and move us forward close to the 15. It'll be a first down. And, Bill, we'll have to uh, – our wheels will start turning on the defensive side for adjustments. Looks like Kyle Christensen coming back in. First and ten. Now, if they score, then we go back to a normal clock. First and ten. The ball is on the 15 of Jackson Christian. They send two receivers to the left of the formation. They've got the H back. Right there, and they tied in to the right. It's Pennington again, and they're blowing us off the football on the left side right now. Their left side of their offensive line doing a really nice job. He's hitting the hole, though, correctly, Joe. He's yep. making nice reads. Well, he has the body lean once he gets started going forward. He's got good eyesight and vision. Pick up a four. And we've got to have a stop here. 7-14 and running. Strength of the formation to the right. Wide side to the left. Pennington goes to the right. Keeps it, tries to bear outside. Wide Jones got him and helped him down and introduced himself. Wide Jones, a fine, tough linebacker. Also plays catcher, Bill, on the baseball team. Yeah, a lot of good multiple sport athletes in this Jackson Christian family. 
Hardin County is playing their freshman against Liberty in the second quarter. Mm, mm. 56 or 55 to 6 at half. At halftime? Yes, halftime. Uh, they'll probably cut some time down like you alluded to earlier. Option play, the pitch to oh, Pennington, the he ground. dropped it, and who gets back on it? looks like Pennington probably did, and you don't see even our kids jumping around like we've got it, but the pitch, that stopped it. We were hey, we had good position then. Field goal attempt? Uh, yes, and this young man has the leg to get there. Let's see. This is David Baker. He's a junior kicker. The holder will be Ethan Gay, and he is a good holder. They get something out of the way. What would it look like, Bill? A 21 is where he's going to be put down, 10 of the end zone, 31-yard 31 31 attempt. Yard. Yes, sir. At 550 and counting. Here's the snap. The kick is up. The kick, no, it missed, I thought. Yeah, he says good. I didn't see the goal post. It barely disappear. went over. I, the goal post is supposed <laughs> to disappear. I'll have to go back and watch a replay. So it's still a more than 30-point lead after that field goal. That comes in the third quarter with 529 to go, 35 to 3. Let's take a timeout on the Jackson Christian Network. Thompson & Smith, the area's premier independent insurance brokerage, has been serving families and businesses in the region through its founding companies since 1927. With their many insurance company partners, Thompson & Smith provides insurance products for family, home and auto, contractors, retailers, restaurants, manufacturers, medical and dental clinics as well as any other business or organization seeking quality coverage, risk management expertise and customer-focused service. Call them today to discuss your insurance needs. Back after Baker's 31-yard field goal, I knew it had the distance and at the angle we've got, I could have missed it. You post see the goal post disappear if it's low enough. Here's Baker's kickoff. Gets nice foot into him. He's going to come down to Mosley at the 11. And Mosley heads up the middle, gets past the first wave. And one guy made an ankle tackle for them. That looked like Jacoby Moore making the ankle tackle. But Bill, nice return by Mosley. Yeah, I tell you what, it's a shoestring tackle or he would have been all the way. Yeah, he was probably about two steps from taking it all the way. Ball at our 42. Here in the second half, the wide side of the field is to the left. Mosley comes over here. Boyd in the backfield with Gage Boykin. They spin Banky in motion. And now he sets on the line of scrimmage. Boykin's going to go the quick screen. Looked like Lance rolling up there with a the catch. He's got a first down and more. He's across their 40 down to about the 35-yard line. That's a quick pass, Joe. Yes, it is, and it was a good one, too. Lance Rowland picks up another Jackson Christian first down, and he ran like a man possessed then. About 23 or 24, my math eluding me. Here's the snap. And Austin Kelly in there. Boyd's got it. He took it over the left side. Now uh, the guy on the ground kind of got in his way, and now there's a host tacklers. But Boyd's going to take it all the way down to about the 16-yard line. And the little man who is really a big little man. 1,200. When you said, was it 1,200 or 1,300 pound club? What I club think he's in the 1,200 pound club. Can you imagine a five foot four, 1,200 combined weights that he's able to lift? Oh, yeah. You did that, though. I can remember those big muscular biceps when you did. No, that was. We wasn't couldn't you. count that high. You'd have to have two or three friends to but, help you. Know, you know, Tom Fan put in one of the earliest weight programs. 83 yards for Boyd, first and 10 on the 16. Oh, what oh, here's a pass. The pass. Daniel Green, the referee, actually played better defense on him. But guess what? Give him six. Touchdown, Daniel Green and Jackson Christian. Kelly with the pitch and catch to Green. Green scores here in the third quarter, and there's only 2-12 left in the quarter. And like I said, the referee even played a little defense on him, and he still scored. Now, did they give us a touchdown? I, I'm a little bit confused. I thought they placed the ball. You are kidding. Well, I, they I, say he didn't get the touchdown. That's what I thought. I've had, 
I can't tell anything with these officials, Joe. Yeah, they are very consistent. Here's the Moss, and he's just going to walk in untouched. Well, you can mark, you mark that one up, as John Ward would say. All oh. right, you asked me about tomorrow. Yep. Everybody knows what the game is. It's in Knoxville, Tennessee. Okay. Give me a prediction. Maybe not a point, but I, I just want to know who's going to win. I will, I will do something like that after we take this. Well, we got to get the extra point in, but I'll tell you after we take a timeout, after the extra point, a slight travesty of justice there. There's a pass. There's the kick. It's up. It's lost, but it's good. It's perfect. Zach Sisko strikes again. Let's take a timeout with the Eagles leading in this contest, and it should be 42 to 3. 3, yeah. They've got 41 up there, but let's take that timeout. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. And you are back. I could be wrong. The officials have a little better angle, but I don't believe it. This is like an election. We need a recount. <laughs> oh, Joe. 42 to 3. Uh, I don't know who's going to win, Bill, because I have to know if Bryce Young's playing or not. It's real, so easy. You think it's real easy to answer if Bryce Young is healthy. But it's 15 years in a row, but it's been 20 years since I've seen really the Tennessee family just yeah. really think that they have a good opportunity. This goes high, end over end, comes down about the 11. It's going to be a middle return again, breaking through our first wave and dragging one of our tacklers. But I'm going to tell you what, Blake Rowland was bulldogging, wasn't going to let him go. And so Blake Rowland with a fine tackle, and ECS will try to put points on the board with the clock running at 48 seconds. And the ball will be down at midway between the 30 and 31-yard line. We'll give them benefit of the doubt and say it's the 31, first and 10. And let's see, I see substitutions, and Bill, you'll have to help me with getting some of these young men, and we want to get them mentioned. I know my good friend Carlos Roberson, he is in there playing defensive back right now. We'll check and see. Looks like the same lineup pretty much for FACS right here. It's a pitch sweep. Now, they look like, is that Pennington still in there? That one was going nowhere. Well sniffed out by the Jackson Christian defense. I, it looks like my grandson may be in. I think he was in on the – he was one of the men that Number hit. Number 76. The, yeah. The ninth grader. I know his uncle is going to be very proud because he is in there right now, Coach. And we're going to have a timeout. Jackson Christian leads in. Oh, it's the third quarter. Let's take a timeout with the Eagles leading 42-3. to three. The most important benefit when you buy from Jones Chevrolet at Three Way? Peace of mind. Jones Chevrolet's warranty forever comes with every qualifying new and pre owned vehicle. Powertrain coverage for as long as you own your vehicle. Find out more at Jones Chevrolet in Three Way. Fourth quarter action with the Eagles leading the Crusaders here at Phillips Bain Field. I want to thank the hospitality. The, the people up here in the press box have been very nice to us and good place to broadcast from. Yeah, I had a Perfect location, Coach, and just the, the kindest uh, with all the information. has just been a, a, a delightful game to uh, have that hospitality. And Coach Riker's got to feel good about his offense. Be second down at about 12, and here's a running back, and we'll pick up the running back, see if I don't think that's Pennington. It may be. If it is, nice run for about nine yards. Maybe no, he got the full 12 yards out of it. So another first down for FACS. We've got number 20 in, Andrew Potts, a senior, 5'2", 255. He's in at linebacker, Coach. You're right, Andrew. Uh, also plays baseball. Now, Davis and Ivy are still in at the wideouts. 
Bill, help me pick up the tailback that's in there because Wright, Josh Wright's still in at quarterback. Caleb Newsom looks like he wants to come hard off that corner. He got blocked, but now Ball's the football's on, the ground, on the ground. We've got it. And Jackson Christian has a recovery. That is your grandson, it Tristan is. Nash. Look, it's the Nash factor. Looking like his older brother, Tacker. And the running back was Eric Jeter. Well, I can tell him I was doing the color play with Coach Joe on his first fumble recovery. And he's got to be a happy young man. I hope Mom and Dad will go back and watch it two or three times. The replays of these contests with Worthy Road Studios, they are archived. They'll be up tomorrow morning to watch this game. Takes a little longer to get the out-of-town games up. And a lot of new people. I see Carrier coming in as a wide out. Now Green's going to stay in as an H-back. Jack Collins is in the slot. They give to Boyd. Boyd tries the left side, and he's gone. One man is all that can stop him. And nope, nope. Kiss him goodbye. 40 yards on the touchdown. And Cam Boyd, uh, who is chasing, I believe it's Adam Reagan, for the rushing leadership. Adam set that. Man, that was many years ago, wasn't it, Bill? Yeah. I, do you have any idea how close he is? Because, I mean, he is – where is he approximately tonight? Just tonight, Coach. Uh, let me see if I can find my notes. I should have taken that. notes. I, I was trying to li listen well, to Well, he's over 100 yards tonight. Right. And uh, Zach Sisko, Mr. Automatico, but his leg's got to be tired. Cam Boyd has moved in the second time last game we played. He has 2,723. He needed 150. He could pass he it tonight. He could pass it tonight then, couldn't he? The kick is up by Cisco. The kick is good. And the Eagles lead. It should be 49-3. to three. Let's take a timeout on Worthy Road Studios. Downtown is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. If you work outside or in a facility with no AC, or you're just struggling with this year's heat wave, it can really take a toll on your body and health. At Live Hydration Drip Spa, we can help you recover with our Beat the Heat special for only $59. Call or visit us online today to set your appointment. We are back. We were doing a little research, and Cam Boyd is right at it. Uh, Less than 50 yards, you think? He needed uh, 152 coming into this contest to pass Adam Reagan. Also, want to while we're doing it, I know he's the broadcaster for another team, but he is Jackson and also radio around here. Diamond Dave McCulley, and I know Bill talk, talked about it a little early. Con congratulate him, fans, when you see him. 3,000 broadcasts tonight. And Unbelievable. That's, that's all sports, but it's still, that's a milestone. Zach Sisko, the tiredest young man around here, ready to kick off. This one, line drive, will it get over his head? Oh, it is gone. This one's out of the ballpark. Another touchback in the end zone. Well, his uh, Tristan's uncle just sent a note, said he's got a new nickname. He's the Undertaker. The Undertaker. Yeah, we've already named him as the ninth grader coach. Okay. And uh, Bud Young just sent, said that the way the clock's running down there, and I think they're shortening, he figures Hardin County may get eight to ten plays is all they're going to get at their game with Liberty. I feel sorry, though, Joe. I've been on some teams that I felt like the end of the world, you know. Yeah. I want to give the Crusaders credit. They haven't quit at all. Man, no, they fought. Out. They have fought. Their coaching staff, give them time, Crusader fans. We have some watching. I was told by a gentleman when I went uh, down to their concession stand area uh, that they he was watching the game. Uh, this is breaking outside the running back. Number 27 for a nice gain, and he read the play well. That's Eric Jeter, just like Pennington does. Yeah, Pennington is, you know, he's been a true warrior. And let's see what the clock is at 7.04 and counting, 49-3. Jackson Christian leads. It's another first down. And what we'll do is wait and let Greg give you the official stats. And there was a face mask penalty, our second one of those on the night. And 57 for us, Chandler Kroll goes out, and we've got new people coming on. I want to say Eli Smith is in there now. He's a lot of freshmen playing right now, Bill. Everett Scott is in as a junior. I saw him sneak into the middle. 
Here's the running back, Jeter. He runs hard, and he'll probably take over Pennington's spot when he graduates. Looks like he gets about seven. Jeter is a just a 10th grader. Of course, Pennington is a senior. And the Phillies have beaten the Braves tonight in baseball. Is that over with? Well, I don't know. That's two wins for the Phillies to one for one, the Braves. One, so I think this is the best three out of five. Three out of five. What it is. A lot left. One running back with a wing back. Really not a true H back this time. They're going to run the option. They pitch to Jeter. He breaks it past the tackle. It was kind of an arm tackle, and somebody stuck it to him. Is that Potts? Yes, number 20. Also getting over there to give some help, Eli Smith. He rung his bell, didn't he? Yes, but another first down for the Crusaders. Jeter running hard, and he's holding his back a little bit, and I don't, you don't like to see that. And uh, he's going to stay in the contest. And I think our – they're going to send him off, and the official has the uh, right to do that. Pennington's going to come back in. And we got to tackle Pennington. A lot of young people on the line for Jackson Christian. Wow. Just 34-7. to 7. I thought it would be worse than that. Now, USJ leading TCA. FACS first and 10 at our 45, and Pennington's going to get a look at him, Reed. He's going to come back this way. He's got a good stiff arm, too, and about three. Roberson, one of them. Also 34, Brooks Goff in there on it. And um, is that Blake Rowland, the other one, Bill? Look like you know, it. I, these numbers are kind of hard to well, read. Well, I, what happens? They get crunched at the bottom, and you're not sure about them. No, they kind of fold under. Yeah. And it'll bring up second and nine. Good defense by the Eagles that time. This time just a, a, one receiver to each side. Tight end to the right side of the formation. They're going to send the H back in motion. He's really a, more of a blocking back. Here comes the option. Oh, me. We make him pitch early, but we had nobody to take the pitch man then. And Pennington's going to get about – oh, he's going to get close to 17 yards on that one. First down for the Crusaders as they move the football. 4-0-1 and counting, though, because it's 49-3. And a, a good job by Pennington, who has had a good night running the football. Young people getting a lot in bill. Let's see if we can pick up some of those linemen. They're lying down. We have trouble seeing it. And they want to try to get all these young people credit. Uh, also see Mason Vaughn in there. He's our interception leader this year. Right to quarterback, gets it. They're going to give to Pennington. He's going to try and bounce it outside. And right there is a fine solo tackle. That is number 57 for us, Chandler Crowell. And he's just a ninth grader. He's part of that great uh, There's a lot of school good, team. They're really some talented young players. Absolutely. Dustin Smith also in there. Gavin Walker, who Pennington's is QB going Joe. to be a great player. One of Pennington's coming out and Jeter. I'm glad to see that Jeter's okay because he took a pretty good hit a while ago. Pennington's got to be worn out. The engine's got to be out of gas. Fine young player. And, folks, like I said, Coach, Coach goes do a good job here. Just give him time. It takes time to build. Counter step headed to the right side, though, and – uh, pick up of two, maybe three, and a couple of eagles over there, some of our younger eagles. And, again, well, I'm going to tell you what a busy man was Dustin Smith. He's been out on two of the last three plays. One other tackler, we apologize. I see Tristan's back out there. And keep an eye on 18. No matter what he does tonight, this young man's got unlimited potential, just a 10th grader for the eagles. Got a lot of young people playing. Yeah, we really do, Coach, and I and, and that's really nice to have because, you know, the future is very, very bright. You've got a very good uh, middle school team and a very good, uh, oh, very good elementary school team. And, uh, and then Tony Schutz, he's been running uh, fourth through eighth grade for the girls on Saturday morning. I think the last one's tomorrow from 9 to 10 o'clock, teaching them some of the Tony Schutz way to play basketball. So just a lot of good coaching going on at Jackson Christian. And we got to get uh, – 
uh, talk about. It's going to be a timeout for FACS. And uh, they take a timeout. We're going to take a timeout here on the Jackson Christian Network. At McCoy's Heating and Air, we realize there are more than enough things to worry about on a day-to-day -day basis. With our new 10-year all-inclusive package, your home comfort doesn't have to be one of them. For one low monthly payment, you can purchase a brand new York unit with full maintenance and repair coverage for 10 years with approved credit. No hassle, no stress, just complete coverage for your comfort and convenience. Contact McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com to schedule your free new AC estimate today. Back at an important region contest, Jackson Christian with a commanding 49-3 to lead. Darby Palmer also creeping up on catching Eric Gohu as the all-time winningest coach at Jackson Christian. You know, it's neat as these people begin to set records, and that's what they're for, and, uh, you know, you keep your eye on it. A lot of young players on the field now for the Eagles, which is good to see, giving them a chance to play varsity football. Junior in at tailback, right the junior quarterback still in there. Three linemen is all on the line of scrimmage. Two down one and three. Here's a pass out to the 40-yard line of Jackson Christian. Dancing and making people miss is number 13, Robert Ivey. That gets back some of that yardage, but that was fourth down, Bill, so it should go over on downs to the Eagles, and we'll see some of the people we haven't seen come into the ball game. Hunter Walter was in there on defense that last time. Hunter always gives us a good effort. James Dyer wearing 25 was in there. And looks like with a minute four and the clock still running, the Eagles will take their time getting out there. This contest almost over. And again, some strange mechanics that I'm not used to. <laughs> I got caught watching the... Uh, Interesting. I mean, it's not a bad mechanic. He was just motioning him to go down there. Uh, they go into one of the most popular formations, if it's your team, the victory formation. Gage Boykin will catch it, go down to his knee. He's got a safety behind him, and that should wrap this contest up. The Eagles will close this one out 49-3, to and will advance to that big battle with Trinity Christian next week for the uh, region second place because – unless there's just some big faltering by USJ and the, they've got first pretty well wrapped up. And it's important because of the seating, and we'll talk more about that next week. Bill, a quick comment before we take a timeout, and then we'll come back and talk stats and about this contest. A lot of work goes into a broadcast, Joe, and I just want to compliment all your support staff. They've been super, and uh, to the people that are at home in Jackson and Arizona and all other parts, we do appreciate the efforts of Worthy Road Studios. Now, this isn't over, and we're going to find out about Cam's rushing and about uh, hopefully we can find out about the coaching records and stuff like that. But a big victory, and it will make it a much pleasant drive back to Jackson, Tennessee. 49-3, the Eagles beat the Crusaders. Let's take a time out here on Worthy Road Studios. Pub City Deli is honored to sponsor Jackson Christian Athletics. Gourmet chef Peter Thomas invites you in for a totally new experience in craft sandwiches, wraps, and salads. The homemade hoagies are baked fresh. A big favorite is Pete's brisket hoagie with brisket, smoked Texas style. The Hub City Burger is a Jackson favorite. The salads are always fresh and unique. Hub City Deli is open for breakfast as well. Located on Pleasant Plains Extended, just down the road from Jackson Christian. This is how we Friday night. How do you Friday night? This is how we Friday night. This is how we Friday night. This is how we Friday night. No matter how you Friday night, you always win at Kaufman. Championship DNA. That's what you find at Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. A full line of new Chevrolets plus West Tennessee's largest used car inventory. State of the art service work and pre approved auto loans online at JonesChevroletHumboldt.com. Shop with a winner. Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. 
home furnishings, appliances, bedding, and so much more. Kaufman's at the Bypass and Oil Well Road in Jackson. Furnishings for every room in your home. Custom upholstery options too. And our fully stocked warehouse helps prevent supply chain delays. Kaufman's, for your life. At Alive Hydration Drip Spa, we offer top-of-the-line IV nutritional therapy, which has a wide variety of health benefits. From immune system boosters and skin care, fatigue, energy, and even hangover relief, you can be sure we have an IV blend that's right for you. All of our blends are administered by one of our experienced nurses in a spa setting to ensure you leave feeling re-energized and refreshed. Give us a call or visit our website to book your appointment today. We have what it takes to make you feel alive again at Alive Hydration Drip Spa. The most important benefit when you buy from Jones Chevrolet at Three Way? Peace of mind. Jones Chevrolet's warranty forever comes with every qualifying new and pre owned vehicle. Powertrain coverage for as long as you own your vehicle. Find out more at Jones Chevrolet in Three Way. This is how we Friday night. How do you Friday night? This is how we Friday night. This is how we Friday night. This is how we Friday night. No matter how you Friday night, you always win at Kaufman. We are back, and uh, Bill, do you remember that score that was reported to us a few minutes ago about uh, USJ? And it's 34 to 7, the one that I had seen. Okay. And if somebody's got an update, we would appreciate it. You can get it to Bill or I, either one. The um, Hardin County is just massacring Liberty, and they're trying not to. They've had their ninth graders in there since in the second quarter. Yeah, and, it, and it's just, I don't know, Joe, it's very tough. I, I do want to salute the Crusaders pinning tonight. He was one of the be biggest and toughest warriors, not physically, but mentally and emotionally. I mean, he gave everything he had for this game, and, and I just salute those because he never quit, Joe, yeah, just like the rest did. of the Crusaders. Well, their team, they, they did. And you can tell that's a reflection on how their coach is working, they're building, they're getting better. Uh, that also, let's check some other stats that I have for us. We are now uh, all-time versus FACS five and seven, but we have won the last four now, the last five meetings. So there's your little piece of, of history there. We'll have more of this on the Hub City Deli show uh, with Jackson Christian Eagles. This uh, show is the official name of it. You see our Warriors very happy. We're waiting uh, the greatest statistician in the world, Greg Armour, to come down here. Uh, Bill, very quickly, the uh, post-game show brought to you by Great American Sports, Mitchell's Body Shop, our replay sponsor, Corner Logo Sponsors, Jackson State Community College, Dynamics Physical Therapy, Jones Chevrolet, Blacksmith Restaurant, Scoreboard, Thompson & Smith Insurance, other advertisers, Aloha Pool, Southeastern Termite and Pest Control, Elite Dental, McCoy's Heating and Air, Hub City Deli, a live hydration and spa, Lifeline Blood Services, Kaufman's Furniture, Arrington Funeral Home, Bank of Jackson, King Jewelers, Lonnie Cobb, Ford Nest Realty, Snookums Restaurant, and Lifestyle Vision. And we are waiting, Greg, but Bill, some thoughts from you. Uh, well, I know you're checking on that. I thought that we had an effort. Everybody got to contribute on the scoring. I thought the offensive line blocked well, other than a few things that I know that Coach Phillips will address about the defense. They played well, and we stopped a potential. We woke up, and Jack Collins, great interception with the defense you know, kind of bowing their neck after we fumbled, or actually we just didn't get on the kickoff to start but, out with. But, Joe, there's two things in a football season. One of them is the uh, open week where we didn't play last week, and the second is homecoming. Both of them can cause problems for your team. But I think the, the skilled players, the real talent of uh, Mosley and Boyd, uh, the quarterback and et cetera, we started working as a team. And, and I think that's – but next week's game, we cannot make – we cannot start next week's game at TCA by fumbling a kickoff or allowing no. them to do an onside. We it just can't happen. got Joe. to be focused. Tell you what let's do. Let's take a quick timeout, and we will get the master of stats himself – Greg Armour, who has to be one of the happiest guys, but also has writer's cramp tonight from working too hard. We'll be back on the Worthy Road Jackson Christian Network after this timeout. We realize you have a busy lifestyle. And at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more serving the Jackson area for 25 years. 
the Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. Home furnishings, appliances, bedding, and so much more. Kaufman's at the Bypass and Oil Well Road in Jackson. Furnishings for every room in your home. Custom upholstery options, too. And our fully stocked warehouse helps prevent supply chain delays. Kaufman's, for your life. King Jewelers is not your typical run-of-the-mill jewelry store. Grover is a certified jeweler with 35 years experience. This isn't just a jewelry store. It's an iconic symbol of love. How far would you go for love? King Jewelers 16B Conrad Drive, Jackson. At Lonnie Cobb Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on the engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. We offer live webcasting for families. It kind of came out of when so many warriors were going overseas to war. We have learned to offer families more choices that we want to serve our families well and serve our families better. Welcome back to Cordova, Tennessee. I'm Bill Hamilton with Coach Joe Holloway. And the happy game tonight and the statistician that uh, has been just a complete help for years and years and years and, and has all the facts and figures. And, Greg, we've always said that stats are made to be broken. Records are bring, uh, they're, they're to be broken. We just don't know when. Tell me about Cam Boyd. He's, how many official rushing yards did he have tonight? Cam had nine carries for 134 yards. All right, now, 134, I'm going to give you a math quiz. I'm going to give you the answer. All right, he started out with 152 yards to tie and break the record of, of Mr. Uh, Adam Reagan. So according to your stats, and you are the official stat master, pretty close, okay? He's within 25 to 30 yards of setting an all-time record for rushing. That's Just correct. a That's super, super young man and a super record that he's chasing. And I will guarantee you, okay, that he'll catch it next week, okay? I, I mean, I've got to have good feelings about it. Give me the rest of the rushing records or the rushing attempts and, and what – our uh, Mosley and uh, right, quarterbacks uh, did. For Mosley, he had two carries for 95 yards. DeMoss had five carries for 53. In the passing department, uh, Gage attempted five, completed four for 119. Austin Kelly had attempted two, completed two for 38. Gage had three uh, touchdowns passing. Uh, Jay had one rushing. Cam had two rushing. DeMoss had two rushing. Uh, total, we had 17 rushes for 287 yards. Total offense, 444 yards. Uh, they had about uh, 75, six, 70 yards passing and about uh, a little bit over 125 rushing. So we kept them really in the 200-yard range. That's correct. So that was a superb uh, defensive effort put on with a lot of young players. That's the one thing that I saw a lot of substitutions at Co and Coach Palmer. Now, this is a, a young man that's been here for six years. According to the records that we were given in Coach Holloway, he is three victories away for setting the all-time winningest coach in Jackson Christian. I believe that's correct. That's, that's a tremendous uh, asset. You know, Greg, the one thing that I say is uh, we distributed the ball real well. We did. The runners, the quarterbacks, the linebackers. I mean, everybody, once we got that one mistake out of the way, we looked like a different team. That's correct, yes. So, and, uh, and a lot of people got to play. A lot of young kids got to play. Right. And it's different in practice than when you come to Cordova and play against the Crusaders from FACS. That's I was really correct. impressed with uh, Pennington. Yes. He was a, a real war. He never gave up. Greg. Yeah, their coaches said he's a hard runner. Yeah, he did, and he did an excellent job. And it sets up a battle for the number two position, and uh, and that will be against Trinity Christian Academy, uh, Windy City Road. Uh, you know, it'll be. We know going over there that it's it's considered a visiting. It's going to be a tough game. It is. It is. And we've got to come with our A game 
Now, you were telling me about painting the field. You don't have to paint the field anymore. Your weekend, have you got other statistics that you go back and plug this in? I mean, what do you do for the weekend with well, football? Well, you know, we, we just we watch film on Friday nights and uh, Sunday afternoon. And Friday we, nights? You don't go home and write, watch right now, do you? We go home after we leave here, yes. And watch film? Mm-hmm. We watch some tonight, yes. All right, and then Sunday night or Sunday, Sunday afternoon? Sunday afternoon. Okay. You're working preparation for Trinity? Right. So it's really a, a seven-day-a-week almost or six-day-a-week mm-hmm. job. Isn't That's it? correct. And it goes to church, too. No, I know that. <laughs> That's the amazing part about it. These young men go to church, and they practice. And I, I was just real impressed with the teamwork that we finished with tonight. And I want to compliment your continual supporter, Jackson oh, Christian. I think I think you're not only an asset, you're a shining star. And I think sometimes it's the unsung heroes that keep up with this kind of work that means so, so much. And I know that. The young men and mothers and dads will all tell you that. Uh, we'll tell you the happy uh, ending. Jackson Christian wins and wins big with the running clock. And next week sets up a, a real battle between two great young coaches, uh, our own Darby Palmer and uh, son of the former defensive coordinator of the Pittsburgh Steelers. I called him my friend, and he will be Blake Butler. But we're going to see if we can put a W at Windy City and come home with that second place. We're going to take a two-minute break and come back, and we'll finish up stats and other things coming back from Cordova, Tennessee. At Arrington Funeral Directors, we accept all prearranged funerals. So you may have prearranged your funeral in this town with another funeral home or even in another state, but we accept all prearranged funerals because we're here to serve families. Serving the Jackson area for over 20 years. Carlock Nissan and Carlock Prestige, the name you can count on. Carlock Automotive, Van Drive, Jackson. The name you can count on. Carlock Automotive, Van Drive, Jackson. King Jewelers is not your typical run-of-the-mill jewelry store. Grover is a certified jeweler with 35 years experience. This isn't just a jewelry store. It's an iconic symbol of love. How far would you go for love? King Jewelers 16B Conrad Drive, Jackson. count on. Carlock Automotive, Van Drive, Jackson. Pub City Deli is honored to sponsor Jackson Christian Athletics. Gourmet chef Peter Thomas invites you in for a totally new experience in craft sandwiches, wraps, and salads. The homemade hoagies are baked fresh. A big favorite is Pete's brisket hoagie with brisket, smoked Texas style. The Hub City Burger is a Jackson favorite. The salads are always fresh and unique. Hub City Deli is open for breakfast as well. Located on Pleasant Plains Extended, just down the road from Jackson Christian. Hey, this is Chuck Walker with Southeastern Termite and Pest Control. If you live in West Tennessee, you have a need for the services we offer. We treat for all types of pests, including bed bugs, brown recluse spiders, and other hard-to-treat pests. You don't have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to encapsulate a crawl space. Give us a call to hear how to achieve the same thing and save thousands. Southeastern Termite and Pest Control can handle all of your termite and pest control needs, wood fungus and moisture barriers, real estate closing letters, and so much more. Southeastern, 731 660 At McCoy's Heating and Air, we realize there are more than enough things to worry about on a day-to-day basis. With our new 10-year all-inclusive package, your home comfort doesn't have to be one of them. For one low monthly payment, you can purchase a brand new York unit with full maintenance and repair coverage for 10 years with approved credit. No hassle, no stress, just complete coverage for your comfort and convenience. Contact McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com to schedule your free new AC estimate today. We are back 49-3, to the happy final. A great effort by the Eagles. A lot of people contributed both offensively and defensively. Bill, you got to talk to the great Greg Armour, statistician par excellent. Your final thoughts on this contest? Well, I think it's a game that uh, will prepare us for the next, you know, next Friday night's game. But I think one of the things that was most impressive is the fact of the running of uh, the three individuals. Uh, You know, I think – 
Cam with 134 yards. He's less than 25 yards away for the uh, rushing record all time, and that's pretty amazing. Uh, Palmer's, I think, coaching, uh, keeping the kids. And, you know, we wondered about this game, Joe. You just don't know. And then when you start off uh, fumbling uh, an, an onside kick and allowing them to have the ball, but we came back with the tenacity that uh, Jackson Christian is known for. So it sets up a real battle, and, and I think we distributed the ball well. Had a lot of young people that uh, made big plays, recovering fumbles, making big stops. Uh, and I come back to the Pennington man, uh, one of the toughest young runners that I have seen uh, for FACS. Never quit, kept on going, but the Eagles prevailed and sets up a big battle in uh, Jackson, Tennessee next Friday evening. And don't you think that those lines won't be hot and they want us tonight and uh, USJ beating them tonight is just going to make them matter. They will be focused. They always want a piece of Jackson Christian School. It could be a slobber knocker next week. Well, it always is, Joe. Basketball, football, tennis track, baseball, whatever. Um, but this game really sets it up because it sets up you're going for second place in, in, a, uh, in your district and uh, region, and, you know, it sets up the path for the next round of games. So, uh you know, it, it's just a, an enjoyable night, uh, kind of crisp, but our kids, uh, they're going to enjoy the ride home and enjoy their preparation. And uh, Coach Palmer, as, you know, as Greg told you, they work tonight and they work uh, uh, Sunday afternoon. A lot of work to be set up, as you know, Coach, in finishing what you've got to do, and that is to beat the Lions next Friday night. Two inspired football teams will meet at Trinity Christian Academy, 7 o'clock game time on Worthy Road Studios in the Jackson Christian Facebook. This game will be archived tonight. Uh, it'll take a little while because we got to drive back to Jackson. But tomorrow morning, Paul will have that up. And I encourage you to tell people that didn't get to hear or see the game tonight to please go back and watch the YouTube. It's, it's under Worthy Road Studios or just type the name of the game. Uh, there's a lot of imitators out there. There's also a lot of people breaking the copyright laws. And this is a copyrighted broadcast. Tonight, great work. Gary has done yeoman work. Stephanie and Ashley have done yeoman work. They've had to master more than one position. Everybody did multiple things tonight. And I also want to thank the folks here at FACS. They have been very kind today. And, of course, Chase McLean and the Greg Armour and, and, and people who sometimes you don't think about add to our broadcast, the entire coaching staff, and, of course, Brian Bullard and I will be there with Coach Palmer, and we'll have other coaches and players. And like I said, there, there will be an appearance by the elementary school coaches. I'm looking forward to talking to Nathan and putting him back under the microphone, not on the microphone, but under it too. And uh, I remember and did some games when he was playing. All right, I got to ask you a question. Alabama, okay. Tennessee, you never told me, Joe. Well, I told you without knowing about Bryce Young, I can't tell you anything. All Bryce right. Young is If the he key. plays. If he plays, I think Alabama wins by three. If he doesn't three play. Three to ten. If he doesn't play. If he play. doesn't play, I'm going to go with Hendon Hooker and the Vols. All right, you're kind of sitting on the fence. Yeah, I, well, okay. I have to because I don't have all the info that, that I need. Uh, folks, we'll be at Hub City Deli Tuesday night. Please uh, tune into that one. It's important. Or better yet than that, come down and – and see us and be part of it. Great eating atmosphere, great atmosphere to meet the kids, the coaches, and everybody have the, you know, families emphasized at Jackson Christian School. And, again, our staff here, Ashley, uh, you know, Stephanie, Gary, uh, y'all don't know what they went through to get on. We're even on the super booster of the jet packs and stuff like that. And these people had to come and do extra work to get this game on the Internet situation, not – uh, and Memphis is a lot of schools. It, it's This is probably better than some are. And uh, great facilities here. When their team's coming, our young men, pat them on the back, be proud of them, but encourage them, support them for next week because uh, Trinity's not going to lay down. So, uh, Diamond Dave, congratulations on your 3,000th 3, broadcast. And, folks, somebody sent me a text. That includes baseball, basketball, things like that. Oh, it's like everything. That. And Bethel That's everything. But still, 3,000 broadcast. Uh, that's amazing. As good as Mike Keith is, Bob Kessling, they won't do 3,000 broadcasts in their lifetime of a of a play-by-play. -play. And a national championship, yeah, and, and he wrote a book, Joe. Yes, he sure did uh, over at Lambeth. Jackson Christian School, very good night. It's, it's a game to be proud of because we could have folded right after the kickoff, and the kids actually refocused, 
coaching staff was always focused. I saw Darby before the game. It's a shame we couldn't put him in a uniform tonight, but uh, he was ready to play, and Coach Bullard was too. And the kids got with it after that thing, and the fumble kickoff, and we got busy. I remind you again, it's a copyrighted broadcast, and we thank our great staff and our executive producer, Paul Schultze, who's ex being an executive far away, but he's also double time in it tonight too, doing more than one job. And that's what it takes to make a good team just like Jackson Christian. Please support all our sponsors. And it is time to utter those words. Thanks for your time this time. Till next time, good night all. <laughs>